Hello everybody, welcome to a little special, uh, quite rapidly uh, assembled crew, a mighty crew, to go through a brand new role-playing game, a joyous role-playing game. I'm going to be your dungeon master, Mark Humes, you may know me from High Rollers, you're probably watching there as well. Uh, but today, we are going to be playing the brand new Dark Souls role-playing game by Steamforge Games. Our good friends at Steamforge Games have sent us early copies and we're going to be playing. But I'm joined by some familiar faces and some fresh faces as well. Uh, as we gather, we gather round the bonfire. A jolly to... cooperation. <laughs> <A> jolly cooperation. <laughs> uh, praise the sun. Uh, I am joined by... Da -da -da -da, we got... Which side? We're going to go with Tom and Kim. You know them from High Rollers. Yeah. You, know, you love them. Praise the this... sun. Praise it. <laughs> and then on this side, we've got Ravs, who you all, you know, you've seen on High Rolls. And then Angry Tom. We've got Tom Clark joining Howdy. Us. Howdy, partners. Howdy, Howdy partners. Uh, big, big Souls fans, everyone? Oh, yeah. Hell yeah. Really big. You love it? This guy I know. This guy I know. Oh, I'm a hardcore big gamer. Play, yeah, I play, play, <laughs> play Dark Souls. Them all. Played them all, you've completed them, you're the Dark Souls master, speedrun? Uh, yeah, like, a, like an 18 hour speedrun maybe. Nice. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's on the leaderboard, yeah. I mean, probably not, but it's, you know, it's still, it's an achievement. Um, and then Kim, you've not played Dark Souls, but you have been investing a lot in the lore. I right? love the lore, I love the monsters, so I'm one of these people who reads the wiki and watches all the Let's Plays, because I'm like, I want to play it, but I can't make it past the first Asylum Demon. Right. So... <laughs> Oh, no. I'm sorry, Tom. I'm sorry. Oh, no. Just throw but some fire bombs at him. He's dead in like three hits. I know Come a on. lot about the lore and the monsters because I, I love it. I'll tell you what you do know a lot about, and that's a certain fifth edition role playing system. We're not going to say its other name, but you know that. <laughs> I do, apparently. And, and that's kind of the basis of this game. So I don't want to do like a big lengthy rules explanation of like, this is exactly what's different. Um, uh, we'll but, do it as we go. It, exactly. But if you're familiar with 5th edition, it uses a lot of the similar stuff to that. One key, co couple of key differences just before we go into it. One is uh, hit points are called position, and they are actually used to like fuel some of your abilities. Um, a lot of your uh, class abilities, weapons, armor, all have their own abilities, and you spend position to do that. Uh, the other one is this being Dark Souls, Death is a whole big thing. Uh, you will die. Uh, what? When your position hits zero, there's no saving throws, there's none of this like, I'm gonna heal my friend. Nope, you are dead. <laughs> oh. If you hit zero position, you're dead. Oof. But you will respawn at the nearest bonfire and lose all of your saved up souls. Uh, and souls in this are experience. Points. Can we pick them up again? No. So oh. once they're gone, oh, okay. they're gone. At least that's not in the rule book. Uh, or at least I've not read that in the rule book. <laughs> well, okay. let's make that hey. clarification. The darker souls. Mm. Wow. Mm -hmm. Damn. So uh, there's going to be some, uh, this is my first time running it. Uh, I've, I've poured over the rule book as much as I can. I've customized the adventure a little bit. I might get some things wrong. I'm sure there's going to be some folks from Steamforge in, the game, uh, in chat who can probably correct us um, and get things right. Uh, but that's it. Let's quickly go over, uh, obviously, you know, don't go too much into the characters, but what classes or origins and classes you guys have picked, um, and also tell us your character names. We will start, we'll start with Mr. Tom Hazel. Hey, what up? It's me, your boy. I'm a cleric today, and okay. unlike the regular cleric from uh, game, uh, I have attunement slots and uh, cast, individual casts of certain spells, like my healing spell. I can only do it five times. Uh, before, I guess, a bonfire. You rest at a, a bonfire, yeah, yeah. absolutely. Uh, but my name is Dexter Build. Dex Build. Uh, <laughs> nice. Except I have a mace, which scales with strength, and <laughs> Cleric Sacred Chime, which I think would scale with intelligence in this one. So I guess that's so. useless. I think it is based on wisdom, So, but still, Dex, Dex Build's definitely the wrong Not name. optimal. <laughs> Not optimal. Oof. Um, Oof. And that's, that's, that's me. I'm a jack of all trades, uh, nice. and I've got some backstories and memories and goals and things. Yeah. I, that's another thing I should probably mention. Uh, a big part of this game as well is you don't need to have an elaborate backstory. The game actually encourages you to basically, you don't really remember much. You have these very bare fragments of memories. And then it's the, kind of like the games where if you want to, as you go on, you can begin to be like, I, I remember now the, the touch <laughs> of my wife. Uh, oh! This is the advantage of okay. the advantage yeah. of my saving throw. The way my wife used to touch me. <laughs> that will help me stab yeah. this demon to death. <laughs> so much better at one handed attack. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying, okay, these are the mechanics of the game. Uh, 
so you've got that, uh, to, so you don't need to have too much of a backstory, but yeah, there are some pre-made things which you can use to get mechanical advantages in the game. Nice. Uh, let us jump, to, let's do Mr. Tom Clark, let's just jump it around a little bit. Um, okay, I'm playing the Deprived, everyone's favorite uh, Dark Souls <laughs> yeah. character, the, yeah. that hot piece of garbage. You make them, give them blue skin, make their nose like four times longer than yeah. their hands. Um, yeah, like, make I'm, them as weird as possible. Randomize the face a hundred times. Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> just keep going until yeah. their eyes have like inverted. Um, yeah. just, just a red hot mess. Um, nice. I've got a club and a board. Um, I Is am that a, it? That's literally it. <laughs> oh, shit. Literally it. Doesn't um, have armor or anything. Uh, I'm a lowly murderer um, who died in an explosion. <laughs> nice. Well, we'll see if that comes in. What's, what is your character's name? I'm going to be called Gutter. 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 <laughs> nice. Perfect. Very souls. Um, and that's it. That's me. That's you. Nice. Kim? Deprived. I am playing a knight. So nice classic. Nice um, dark souls. Uh, very classic Dark Souls. I've called myself um, Sir Jolly of Co-op. Okay. Um, oh. <laughs> and I'm Perfect. pretty much what you can expect a knight to be. I'm a very uh, strong and I have a high constitution. Uh, I've got a long sword and I've got very knighty abilities. You are a classic knight. You've got the sword yeah. and shield. You take less damage from stuff. Mm. You're the one from the cover up. You basically, I'm yeah. very yeah. much that. Yeah, like, you are you are Mr. Yeah. Dark Souls. Like I John, am Mr. John, John Dark Souls. Yeah, I should have called myself yeah. that, shouldn't John I? Yeah, John Dark Souls. Dark Souls. <laughs> uh, just like the Master Chief. Um, and yeah, you've, it's a good class because like you do have good AC, you've got good position, uh, you take less damage, but you are quite slow. So you have a minus yeah. one to all dexterity based yep. stuff. Wow. Yeah. Uh, which is yeah. you know it's basically the, the the RPG's equivalent of fat rolling. Your fat rolling. Your fat yeah. rolling. Oh, okay. no. My oh. favorite thing in the world. It's in the like when the game when they just go really. Slow animation was yeah, like, yeah. Yeah. Huh. yeah. Oh God. <laughs> Pretty much. And then my sweet, sweet Scottish boy. I am playing a mercenary. I've named myself Ward Wakefield. Uh, oh. You know, I've got my little my boy Gutter with me. Uh, <laughs> you know, little, little 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 servant. I'm a fencer, was my, in origin. my origin, so you know. <laughs> Ooh. Good with the, the old sword. You're, you're, you are the dex build. I am the dex build. <laughs> and literally, I am. Dex yeah. is my highest yeah. stat. I've got the. Cell Sword Twin Blades, you know, the classic, oh, the classic. Speedrunner's weapon. Hell yeah. <laughs> uh, you know, I was an apprentice to a sorcerer at one point. I don't really remember that anymore because the last thing I remember is a man standing over me with a bloody knife. And he was oh. doing the classic Dark Souls thing, you know. <laughs> <laughs> I've tried to put a little bit of that into this. So <laughs> I've tried to put Unless some weird Every NPCs. NPC yeah. ends yes. whatever they're saying with a creepy laugh <laughs> with only Dark Souls. Yeah. Yep. You never get yeah. to the end of the dialogue, you're spamming A. I want every NPC interaction to be... <laughs> cool. All right. Uh, well, those are the characters. Uh, we will just jump straight into it and then we'll kind of explore the differences and things as we go. Like I said, it's going to be our first time running it. There might be some mistakes. There's probably going to be a lot of me looking through the gigantic tome of uh, the rule book uh, as we kind of go through things. Um, but yeah. Well, in that case, shall we, shall we begin? Let's begin. I will begin with the obligatory, uh, creepy, mysterious voiceover. Your eyes slowly open. <laughs> Your eyes slowly open. <laughs> the sensation of flame spreading across your body, receding quickly as your senses come alive. You awaken, sat in front of a base hastily built fire, gathered wood and ash piled up as a rusted blade has been embedded into the middle of it. it embers, its embers flicker, barely alive, but a small amount of warmth still lingers. You remember little beyond your name, uh, a few scattered fragments of a drive, past, a memory, but nothing to give you any hint as to where you are or why you are there. Others sit around the fire looking just as lost as you are. Uh, and you find yourselves, yeah, in a chamber. Uh, I have built a small chamber. If you want to place your minis inside, um, we will just use this as a general tracker. Uh, oh, I didn't get one for you because I didn't know what you were going to play. Oh, uh, I'm you're, you're our Clarence, aren't you? I'm a Clarence. There you go. Thank you. Oh, oh man. That's the closest Beautiful. I've got. Cool. So, yeah, all sat around, yeah, kind of in a, in a circle around this bonfire. Uh, you awaken. No memories. Um, and, yeah. So what would you like to do? Wait, did we all just awaken at the same time? Yeah, you all kind of come like from it. our deaths. So we're all just like <laughs> pretty much. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, Screaming. It's not like uh, there's no sensation of pain as you awaken, but there is this kind of like lingering, like you were very close to or like near a fire, uh, and then your eyes open, your senses come alive, and yeah, you are looking around at each other. Um, no memory of, of why you're here, how you got here, 
Oh, well, um, I'm gonna throw myself backwards. <laughs> <laughs> because my last memory is an explosion. Sure. <laughs> 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 What's going on here then? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and I'd say that you two would probably still remember each other, right? Because you have this like bond of like you know the Ooh, Lord and his, yeah. his, his, his... The Lord. <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna stand up and I'm gonna take both of my swords and go. You there? You can carry these. Oh yes, my Lord, <laughs> of course. I guess I tuck them into my tiny loincloth. Yeah, which is like all they, I'm wearing. Probably like cut, cut yeah. the skin a little bit as you slide oh, them in. Oh yeah, I'm kind of a network of scabs <laughs> and scars anyway. So sure, perfect. <laughs> yes, my Lord. Yeah. Wait, is that in your inventory now? That's just... I guess so. I guess yeah. I'm now carrying his weapons. All right, Great. sure. Yep. We will remember that. We will remember that. <laughs> hey, nice. I'm, I'm into it. I'm yeah. into it. Well, as you guys are doing this, yeah, you do see that like the two of you as well waking and you see each other kind of looking around. Um, there is, there, there's a bit more detail to the room, but you know, your immediate uh, kind of senses are drawn to each other. Um, and the flame, I guess. Yeah, and, there's, and it's, it's like a dying flame, right? There's barely anything left. It's just the flickering, lingering heat of a dying fire uh, just before you. And how did you two get here? What? Betrayal! There was something. Mm, who are you? Strange? man. Where are your clothes? Oh, um, I'm not allowed clothes. <laughs> my lord won't give me any. Are you a house elf? <laughs> I'm a house elf, yes. His name's Gutter. <laughs> yes, and my lord. I'm Lord Wakefield. It's, it's not decent. The man's naked and smelly. Uh, give, give me your robe then. No. Then naked I'll stay. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, the darkness came and took my life, and now I stand before you. <laughs> <laughs> the embers are dying. What has befallen us? You can't remember. I mean, you, do you want to like look around, like check your body or your armor or anything like that for clues or any kind of hint Let's of what might chuckling. happen? Sure. <laughs> Ooh. I'll check and see if I've been like stabbed because no, I think I, I want to check his body. I want to like make sure he's okay. <laughs> okay. Pull a little rag out, yeah. polish his armor a little bit. Oh yeah. lord, you're a bit dirty. Well maybe uh maybe make a perception ah. check then, Rabs, but with advantage as Tommy as Gutter is kindly <laughs> helping you by like, you know, trying to clean your armor yeah. and pull it away and uh, with advantage, thank God, because that was a six, and that is also a six. Uh six total? Oh wait, nine plus Nine uh, plus perception. Ten. Ten. Yeah, you look over, you don't see any wounds or any signs of anything. You've got your equipment. I mean, you think it's your equipment. You're wearing it, right? You know, but no, no sign of being stabbed or anything like that. Oh, you seem fine, my lord. You're all right. That's enough. <laughs> <laughs> yes, <laughs> don't touch me. <laughs> um, but yeah, looking looking around, those of you who aren't Lord Wakeful and Gutter uh, for the for was it Sir Jolly uh, and then Dexter <laughs> Dexter Bill. Not a great cleric name. No, not very good. <laughs> uh, you do notice that the the walls of this chamber are like thick, the thick black streaks just kind of like pour down it, um, almost like smoke has like coalesced and then it's slowly kind of dirtied and grimied the walls. Uh, there is a decrepit chandelier hanging uh, by a dangerously frayed rope above you. You can just hear like a very faint uh, noise. Uh, and there are a few broken and shattered pots in one corner. Pre-shattered? Seemingly so, as what? if somebody had rolled through them. Someone had already what? rolled through them. Okay, yeah. yeah. Someone has been here before. Possibly, it's possibly. Titanite behind there. <laughs> Could be. I mean, I mean, there might still be something among the shards, but it does look like somebody has already come in and broken them. Uh, I think then, there is also a door, uh, a set of double doors leading to the north. And if you'd like a piece of paper to draw your own map uh, to kind of keep it a sense, but I do have the little mini minis there as well. Okay. Uh, and then there is a corridor that heads east. I think I'd be drawn to the fire mm -hmm. and I want to kind of like put my hands around that. Is there any like, oh, this feels nice. There's definitely, Unusually nice, there, like yeah. monster respawny nice. Um, I mean, well, <laughs> that, that would require a long rest and you, you are uh, hale yeah. and hearty. <laughs> okay. um, but there is definitely, you get the sense that like this fire should have died out long ago. Like this fire, there's no way this could have kept going. Like it's, there's barely anything there. There's no wood, it's just ash. Um, and then this sword stuck through the middle of it, but there's just a bit of warmth 
just lingering there. Oh, sweet, free sword! I try and pull the sword out. You grip it and your hands begin to blister and blacken and uh, like keep, keep trying. Yeah, of course you I can. don't want absolutely. to let go Until yet. Until he becomes a Lord of Cinder himself. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> so you'll take two points of position uh, as like, yeah, your hands get scorched and scalded by the Oh, things. it burns me, Lord, it burns! <laughs> you have to make a strength check for me. Uh, okay. So just a d20 plus strength. Uh, 17. 17. You heave and there's some give to it, but not quite enough to pull it free. It's going to be an 18 to pull this free. But Oof. you can keep trying if you'd like. Oh, yeah. As my <laughs> hands burn more. Take another four points of position. <laughs> oh, my lord! Oh, 19. Okay, sure. Uh, so you take another oh four God. points of position. Look. Yep, um, yep. It's pretty good. Was. He got a ding. <laughs> four points of position, and then, sure, I, I will give you a... Four health. <laughs> I mean, so you're, you're bloodied. <laughs> I'm bloodied, sweet. <laughs> you are. And let me see. Let me find a sword. I, I also, when I'm bloodied, I get plus two to wisdom. Thing. And okay. so now I realize <laughs> this was a terrible <laughs> idea. Uh, sure, you pull out a broken straight sword. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's the worst weapon. As you, as you pull it free, yeah, you notice that where it's been plunged into the stone, as the blade comes free of the ash, oh. supernaturally being held there, the edge is broken. I will tell you that broken straight sword, it has a strength of 10 requirement. It's 1d6 of slashing damage, um, it's a light weapon, uh, and you can spend one position to deal plus two damage on a successful attack. So wait, Ooh. this game's equivalent of giving us the broken straight sword is not some dude throwing it through the ceiling, but some naked guy. <laughs> <right> <laughs> <here>. <laughs> I would also say that when he pulls that sword free, uh, there is not much warmth left. That, that, that fire oh is nearly dead. Uh, you can no longer level up at this bonfire. <laughs> Oh, no. you warm, warm yourself on my hands. <laughs> They're quite burnt. It smells of bacon in here. <laughs> yes, that's me. Uh, as this is going on, uh, Lord Wakefield, there is also the other thing I forgot to mention in the room is there is a series of bass reliefs on the... What wall is this? Uh, the southern wall. Uh, there is a series of bass reliefs. Okay. Western wall, sorry. Western wall. Can I walk up to the center of the wall mm -hmm. and just punch it? I'm looking for a secret wall. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Sure. I'm looking for a secret wall. Take one position damage as you punch a solid yeah, stone wall. Yeah. <laughs> 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 you can bring your hand back. Yeah. Uh, uh, yeah. And yet you actually, like, the, the bas relief is like these solid stone sculptures engraved into the wall itself. The one that you punched in particular would have been... Uh, it shows uh, a... It shows like a knight with their arms out like in a crucifixion kind of pose and there is flame pouring out of their chest and into the world around them and that's the one that you punch. Okay. Cleric, tell me, what is your idea of, of what, what do you intend to do next? You because... have darkened the flame, what okay. wretched souls have I been delivered to here? Panic. We must seek a stronger flame lest the land swallow us all. <laughs> <laughs> You are loving this. <laughs> I'm so into this. So he's panicking, he's burning himself, and he's punching a wall. I am surrounded by morons. <laughs> Wonderful. Um... <laughs> well, there is there are the two there are two exits from the room. If you are done with this small chamber, there is a door uh, to the north, and there is a corridor to the east. Mm. I'm going to stroke the, the flaming statue man. Okay. And I'm going to be oh to be a lord of cinder. <laughs> 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 Yeah, I think that there is definitely, you get an impression of there is a sense of nobility about the, the knight being depicted. Uh, you don't recognize it as a particular figure. Uh, there's no memory of who this might be, but yeah, you definitely get a sense of like, yeah, it's nobility. This is a powerful individual. Oh, a lord, just like yourself, my lord. That's right, gutter. <laughs> my hands hurt. I'm going to take his hands and put them to my cheeks to keep myself warm. <laughs> Great. Yeah. I'll stand there and look longingly into his eyes. Be oh, beautiful moment. Uh, but, uh, yeah. Oh, Lord, thou will be the one to guide us to Stronger Flame. Perhaps I will. <laughs> it just depends if you get in my way. Where to, my lord? That way. <laughs> the point in the hallway. Sure, yeah, okay. Yeah. yeah. Uh, do you all want to go with that, Sir Jolly? Uh, are you going to follow behind these miscreants, or do you want to if, check out anything else? If anything, like a little rat was watching this group, they would have seen Sir Jolly at the kind of like, you know, um, Lord Wakefield kind of, you know, bumping himself up, being like, yes, maybe I'm the chosen one. You would have seen Sir Jolly kind of open his mouth to interrupt, but then 
there might be traps it's in that better. corridor, so he can go first. <laughs> so I'm just going to step back, well, cross my thing. arms and wait. Daughter, go check for traps. <laughs> yes, my lord. I just start running down the corridor. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So you run down the corridor. Uh, I won't bother to describe it in too much detail as you, you pelt your way down it. But it is a corridor that you do notice immediately to your uh, left, to the northern wall, uh, this side being north. Um, there is a door. There's like a wooden door that you can see in this, like a slight breeze coming from it. Um, there are tapestries on the wall. You ignore those. You, that's fancy people stuff. That's fancy people stuff. <laughs> um, and it does, the corridor immediately turns to your uh, your left, uh, so heading north. Cool, yeah, just keep, keep going. Uh, yes. Keep going. <laughs> well, I've not found any traps yet. True, yeah. that was, that that was, was you were told, look find, for traps. Find the traps. Uh, okay. Perfect. Brilliant. So, as Gutter runs down, what are the rest of you doing? Are you following behind, or are you kind of cautiously waiting in the little fire room? I thought just a little bit behind, examining the tapestries as I as I pass by. Okay. What was he the... has my swords after all. So That's I'm true. Just trying to stay vaguely near him. <laughs> so he does have your swords. What's you are the current... light like here? Is it uh, pretty dark? Like that. The the flame that was there previously, the bonfire was illuminating a little bit. That has now diminished, and you are basically in near darkness. There's just enough to maybe see a few feet ahead. Shit, do we actually have Esther's flasks? Yes. Oh, okay, all we have, have an Esther's flask. Yes. 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 Okay, we don't have to pick them up. No, right. no, no, no. You all have... Yeah, that's, you have your equipment, and then you have this strange glowing amber flask. And you would mm. know what that does. Like, your memories of, of how to fight and, and what your equipment does all, is all there. Um, Gutter, well, in that case, as, as uh, if we have uh, Lord Wakefield sort of move his way down, um, and then you guys can position yourself. Gutter, okay. uh, you are the first two. As you wheel around the corridor, looking for traps, as your Lord has oh, yeah. mentioned, uh, you immediately come face to face with another long corridor that ends in another wooden door. This one, however, is occupied. Uh, you immediately turn as three lumbering, uh, hollowed, undead creatures turn. Uh, another one on the floor begins to pick itself up, and then two more, which look a lot more better armed and armoured, at the door at the end of the corridor, also lurch to life. Uh, and that's pretty much going to be initiative. <laughs> okay. <laughs> um, so I've got. Uh, that's a that's a three. Oh yikes! That's okay. a two. <laughs> So. That's a three. Ooh. So, well, so initiative <laughs> works a little bit different in this. Oh. So the monsters all have fixed initiative values, um, and you're basically rolling to see if you're faster than them or if you're slower than them, right? right. And all monsters go pretty much at the same initiative. So all the monsters go at once, and, and then you guys either go first I mean, or after. The way we roll, these seven. guys, yeah, these guys jumped out of pots on us and we didn't see it coming. Mm. Sure. <laughs> yeah. So we've got Wakefield, Gutter. I'm also just going to write this down for future knowledge, and then Dexter. Uh, okay, so Wakefield, you got a seven. Yeah. Gutter? Three. Oh, Jolly? <laughs> Two. Dexter? Three. Brilliant, you're all going <laughs> after the monsters. <laughs> so, uh, the three who are already standing immediately swarm on Gutter. They just pounce on you. Uh, they have undead, they, they're li literally just clawing you with fingernails um, and pieces of wood that they've picked up. Uh, the one that was prone stands up and he's gonna move over to you but won't get to attack this turn. And then the two at the far end actually draw like rusted uh, blades and they begin marching down towards you in a slow methodical thing. And again, they're not gonna quite reach you this okay. turn, uh, but you do get walloped by three of these things. Uh, um, below, it's not traps, but... Um... <laughs> All right, the first one. Just that in the corner. <laughs> <laughs> the first one is a 12 to hit. Uh, I've got AC of 12. Brilliant. Uh, oh. oh wait, do you I? Are oh no, um, yeah. So I'm actually 14. 14. So in your injured condition, your adrenaline kind of spurs you on as it swipes overhead. Yeah. Uh, and will. Do you want to explain you. bloodied? <laughs> yeah, bloodied is being half health or lower, and every class gets special bonuses when they are bloodied. Everyone um, has certain monsters do as well. I told oh, you guys that, do. but I didn't tell the enemy people. Yeah. That. That's, yeah. <laughs> Not all monsters, but a lot of special monsters. Wow. Right? Okay. Shit. Okay. So uh, things like hollowed, like undead creatures, and these guys look to be like castle guards, but but they've long since decayed into undeadness. Sure. Um, but the first one is just going to miss you, swings and misses. The second one is going to be even worse. Uh, it's also going to miss. Let's change my dice. Oh 17. God. That oh will, God. however, <laughs> hit uh, for a 21. Uh, and you are going to take uh, three points of position Ooh, damage. He's got um, one. Oh my God. <laughs> Spicy. So these three kind of surround you. Ha! 
Easy, easy, Jets, easy. Uh, and then the other three basically all now surround you, and you are completely surrounded in this this stone corridor by Please. these these hollows. Um, and now you guys will get to go first, and with this, you decide who goes when. So not like in other certain games where there's a very set initiative. In this, you guys will go last, so it means you decide your order in who wants to act. Oh, okay. So yeah. So wait, how far is he actually from? Us he, he's then? at like, least a move. He's like he mo rushed down the corridor and then right. he, you know, basically turned and ran down to the next one. I could probably get him in my movement. Team, I right? think so. Yeah, I think yeah. you because you moved up following behind him, whereas you two maybe he's are a little bit behind so that. Behind, yeah. yeah. So we'd say that yeah, Lord Wakefield can get there in one move and still attack, okay. but you guys you would have to dash or double move. All right, uh, I'll I'll come on round then, and I'll be like, Gotcha, you're not any better than those pathetic hollows. <laughs> And I'm going to like draw my blade from his. From <laughs> my I'm going to like, because I'm behind him, I'm going to like lean forward and go from his loincloth and swing out. At right, the you hollow. cut the loincloth off yeah. immediately. Yeah. That's yeah. gone. Like, that's, my, that's my only piece of armor. So yeah. I'm now just. You're just naked. <laughs> full dong out. Yeah. Okay. You are, you are dong out, sir. Uh, yeah. But Lord Wakefield brings his swords to bay, and yeah, you can attack. There are there are four regular hollows and two hollow soldiers who do look better armed and armoured. All right, I'll attack the this one here on the right. Sure, I mean, uh, ju we, just a, yeah. a normal hollow or a hollowed soldier? Hollowed soldier. Hollowed, so hollowed one soldier. of the more the yeah. more armoured ones, okay. Yeah, okay. Uh, oh, that's not good. Uh, a 12. A 12 against a hollowed soldier is not going to be enough, unfortunately. Damn. This oh, one shit. does have like armor. It does have like a round buckler, like a rusted uh, sort of metal dented plate. I mean, it does kind of bling, clang against uh, that. Okay. Uh, that's me. Okay, well, I guess. Um... Which, well, don't forget, I will say. Uh, so, have you got both of your weapons drawn? Yes. So, as a bonus action, you can make an attack with your offhand, because it is deemed, it's, uh, like 5th edition. <laughs> uh, so, you can make that. And then also, you can spend position, because your you're twin blades, that's their special powers, you can spend position to do another attack. That's after attack. a successful oh, attack. Oh, a successful attack. But if I hit with this offhand attack, maybe I can do that. Yeah, maybe. Uh, Alright, I'll go with the offhand swing. Okay. Yeah, it does a little bit less damage. You don't get your modifier to the damage. That's but... two. Two. Okay. Ching, so, <laughs> ching, you just just kind of clang your metal against this creature and its undead face kind of turns to you. Gosh, how your deck is distracting me. <laughs> sorry, sorry, me little fools. Well, do you want to go next gutter before these guys sure. come running well, around the corner? Sure, well, if my dick's distracting him, I guess I'm going to cover my <laughs> dick with one hand. <laughs> You've got a plank shield. Just... Forgoing my shield. Because <laughs> yeah, right, okay. I guess that fell on the floor because was... I didn't have anything drawn. That's Well, we'll say that your, your plank shield you can easily pick up. Like, yeah. Okay, fine. I'll be covering myself with my shield <laughs> yep. and just try and hit one of the regular hollowed with my club. Perfect, go for it. Um, so attack roll with your club. Uh, that's a 12. 12? Uh, and don't forget as well, uh, position, so again, this is probably something I mentioned before the camera started rolling, your hit point, your position, you can spend to get bonuses to dice rolls. So it's a one-to-one -one for attack rolls and ability checks, and there's no limit. You can spend as much as you like. I know you only have one, but this is <laughs> yeah. more for everybody else. And then for damage rolls, you can spend up to five position to get a plus five or as many as you want. So pretty plus good. two. It's pretty good. It's a good way to do extra damage. But so yeah. 12 in total yeah. is still enough to hit the regular hollow. Nice. Uh, this guy doesn't have any armor. He's just like in rags. Boosh, the club Yeah, just down. club him straight on the forehead. Nice. Um, and that is three damage. Three points of damage. Okay. Uh, the, you do strike the hollow and this kind of fetid pus and liquid comes spraying out of its mouth. Uh, its jaw kind of dislocated and distended, but it just <laughs> turns to you still alive, still ticking. <laughs> uh, <clears throat> I mean, I'm a cleric and someone needs healing. Uh, so can I get there in a movement? In... Uh, you'd take two movements because I said that you, you two were a little bit further away. Because uh, we well, followed after his minion bravely. If I'm action dashing, yeah. Uh, that is... <laughs> yeah, that's, that's probably it. That's me, I'm running around the corner, my healy hand lifted up. <laughs> <laughs> You've got your little chime. <laughs> <Got my> chime. <laughs> yeah, don't forget, you have to have your chime equipped, so you can't have a weapon and the chime. To cast spells, you either have to use your shield oh, or Oh, yes. Yeah. So remember, what weapons you have in which hand. So like, my for example, hand. if you have a shield and you want to use your hand, sword two-handed, uh, Kim, your AC goes down by two and you can't use your shield special abilities. Got it. So, uh... Dong, 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 dong. All right, uh, so that's you done? That's next yep. step. 
And then uh, Sir Jolly, same thing. Yes, I'll just saunter around. Saunter around so slowly. Into this mess. And maybe just push the cleric back a little bit. <laughs> okay. So I can just kind of, you know. Stand in front. Stand in front a little nice. bit. Nice. Perfect. Yeah. Still reaching. Reaching for gutter. Reaching. <laughs> well, I think that the. Just the my bare ass. <laughs> <laughs> you guys would come around the I corner. I was technically clothed before you came round, and now I'm naked, and he's <laughs> you're whirling so around. You're covering the fun. Front with his yeah, yeah, so they so. get a full moon as they come <laughs> on the so I think, yeah, I'd just be like, do 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 Well, I think the three hollows that initially attacked you are still going to try and uh, attack you, Gutter. But one of the soldiers is definitely going to turn on Lord Wakefield because uh, you did strike him. One of the hollows is uh, going to, the one that was prone, is going to push past to try and go for the knight. And then I think the other uh, elite uh, hollow is probably going to go for Lord Wakefield as well. I have a um, quick question. Yes. Are we in human form or are we all like horrible? I, so I think that the idea of this is it's more like Dark Souls 3 because you, as you guys have started now, you are. You look like humans. Okay. You look like normal. There is a I thing. Whenever know, yeah, you like die, the well, <laughs> this is the thing. So when you do die and you respawn at a bonfire, you have to roll a d20, and there are like penalties. You can lose stats. Oh. You can gain bonuses. Oh. You can actually oh. get bonus stats or like Ooh. hit points oh. as well. Okay, okay. One of them is you become dissected and you look like a gross undead creature, and like oh, you cool. get like a minus charisma and stuff like that. So you actually have to find like humanity to. Uh, that could be a thing. It's not going to be in this adventure, but it is a thing. <laughs> um, but the other one, I should say, if you, if, if you die and you respawn and you roll a d20, on a result of a 1, you are permanently dead and you have to make a new character. Okay. Oh okay. If you roll a 20, you actually get a plus 2 to a stat of your choice, I believe. Wow. So it's like really wow. good. Okay. Um, yeah. <laughs> so, rolling a 1 is like, you have to save for Corrupted. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> corrupted, restart yeah. the game. Uh, well, we're going to find out probably what happens when someone dies. So is this a new round of combat? This is a brand new round of combat. While so using my shield, I get plus one position uh, at the start of every Aww. new round of combat. So it's what a weird shit. healing shield. It oh my is. God. But if he ever gets hit by a critical uh, hit, it, it breaks the shield. Oh. <laughs> um, so, uh, three attacks against Gutter. Uh, yeah. At the start of a new round. That's going to be a 21. Ooh, that's a hit. <laughs> <laughs> That's three points of damage. I'm dead. <laughs> <laughs> so Gutter, you're gonna. So uh, the other Wait, thing hang is, on. where does he spawn? He, he yeah. spawns. He spawns at the bonfire. Uh, I will warn you of this. We can either do it one of two ways. You can just rush back in, but as soon as you do, any enemies go back to full position. They get all of their position back if you rejoin the fight, or you can explore other parts of the dungeon whilst they're fighting, until they all die. Wait, so what, what if we... We haven't hit them yet. Get well, one's once, once only taken a little bit of damage, so... Yeah. But if we, like, finish this fight, and then Gutter comes around the corner, are they just, like, there again? Uh, no, like, if you oh, okay. complete the fight, then they're, they're dead. Oh, okay, yeah. cool, cool. But cool. if a fight's ongoing, so it does say in the rulebook specifically, if a dying character respawns at a bonfire and rejoins an in-progress battle, all enemies regain full oh, knowledge. That's cool. And I'll okay, say that as an out of game right. knowledge thing so you guys can be like, I don't want to fuck. You could be a real asshole with you that. You could be a real <laughs> asshole. Yeah. Or the other player can like go off and explore other bits yeah. of the dungeon, maybe get into another fight and then die again. Wait, does he um, need to roll a d20? He does need to roll a d20. Yeah. Um, Thank God we covered that. <laughs> that's, so, that's why I brought it up because yeah. I knew how close he was. Uh, uh, it's a 19. Oh, that's oh, probably good. Oh, that's that's probably, probably good. a good That'll one. Be too bad. Uh, no, it's not. Oh. Dull senses. You awaken slower to react to threats as they present themselves. Reduce your initiative by minus one. Oh. oh. No. So you wake and you're like, you find that your body's just groggy. not reacting yet. Yeah, groggy, this guy just, and he just won't go away. Puts me in the head. Yeah. Uh, so, the, what we're seeing is the very first one just knocked Gutter out. Uh, they are going to turn <laughs> on the rest of you. Uh, and they will probably push past Sir Wakefield and two more will go after uh, Sir Jolly. Um, so, uh, so, let's do the t three, night attack, three normal hollows against Sir Jolly. Uh, that's going to be a miss, that's a natural one. Uh, that is going to be a 15 to hit Sir Jolly. Nope. Nope, uh, that's going to be a 11 to hit nope. Sir Jolly. So I am no 18. But the two Boys. more elite looking ones are going to go for Sir Wakefield. And they're going to bring their rusted swords down. Uh, that is going to be a 13 to hit nope. Sir Jolly. No, uh, Sir Wakefield. 18 to hit. Uh, yeah, that hits. That's going to be a hit. Uh, oof. Oh no, he's pulling out more dice. <laughs> I've got to get bigger dice now. 
Bigger die. Oh. D8. That's going to be seven points of damage <laughs> as this thing brings its rusted sword. <laughs> oh, <laughs> so much <laughs> damage. It is Dark Souls. <laughs> Thing is, when you you did like what four damage to him or something like that? Three. 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 I'm trying to figure out if that's a lot of damage against these guys. Ah uh, no. <laughs> God, Three points it. of damage is not a lot of damage, regardless. I of think we've gone down the wrong path. <laughs> this leads to like a, another boss halfway through the we'll game. We'll find out. <laughs> um, that is all the enemies. So now you guys get to take your initiative, and then after they've done, Tom will find out what you want to do. Damn. Uh. I guess I'll start slashing. Start slashing. I'm gonna start Go for going. It. Are you one handing or two handing your sword? Uh, one handing. Okay. Nice. Um, so. Thank you, boy. Oh, I rolled a natural one. <laughs> natural one. That's a miss. Plus four to hit. Uh, five. So with this, I think that there's no one to make misses. If you want to spend loads of position, you could maybe still hit. Ooh. I have thirteen position. Yeah. I rolled a five. So I think, what, I need to get up to like a 13 or something? Like, no, I'm not going to spend okay, a lot sure. of position on this All one. right, no. sure. All right, so, so <laughs> Dolly Dunn. Uh, Living next? up to our high roller's I'll just name. start <laughs> slashing. Start slashing, go for uh, it. So you've got the two elites. I'm now bodied. Okay. Uh, so that I... does give you a plus one to hit and damage. Yep. Because um, yep. you get your plus yeah, two decks well. Day. Yep. Uh, ooh, 17. Hitting, hitting one of the armor boys that just is that me. the total or is that uh, like, oh yeah, it'll be even, even higher than that. It's eighteen. Four. Oh my god, 20, 22. Easily hits one of these guys. Yeah, you yeah. actually find a gap in the armor with your scimitar, your curved blade. Okay, so that is a D eight plus two slashing. So let's wow. get me a D eight here. Big damage. Where's my eight? Ah, uh, yeah. Oh, wrong one. Yeah, you got. It. Oh, four. Four, four points. Damage. Four points of damage. Now that was a successful attack. Mm -hmm. Would you like to? So yes, I can immediately make it another attack at disadvantage. Uh, if you. Oh, if I spend three positions. It is one oh, less because you're blood. Two position. Yeah. Okay, I'll do it. Okay. Uh, okay, that's a one. So I don't need <laughs> <to roll. laughs> and then you mark off uh, two positions. Yeah. So. Nice. Three HP. Very cool. Uh, I offhand attack. Sure. Okay. Yeah. As long as you're not using a shield. Twelve. Uh, 16, 17, 17. 17 will hit, yeah, you strike the creature again. Okay. Uh, so it's just the D8, no modifier for this one. D8, no this modifier. Okay. Nope, other one. Oh, other one. Three. Three more points. Uh, these slashes definitely kind of, you slice into these into this more elite looking uh, creature. Um, definitely like, those were some solid blows and still held together. No real signs of it being particularly injured at this point. Uh, uh, I am going to use my wooden shield ability once per short rest. Well, you, you don't have your shield because you've been dual wielding. I do not have my shield, that's a good point. <laughs> okay. It's a very good point. You Mark could swap wounds. though, any point no, you can swap. That's fine, so, all right. I, I keep, keep there. Keep going, all right. So uh, Dexter, our cleric. Uh, I would like to, with my cleric's sacred chime, I want to whack one of these boys, I'm guessing are you in with, within like five feet of me? Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm okay. saying all you guys are within five feet. This is a very rough approximation. This isn't an actual battle map or anything. All right, I'll try and hit one of these guys in front of me. One. Of, so, do you want to go for the elite-looking uh, hollows or one of the normal-looking hollows? So one normal. of the armored ones. Normal. Okay. Normal. Because uh, I've only got plus three to hit. Yep. Uh, so I'll do that. Thirteen. Uh, Will still hit one of these oh. things. Yeah. There's no armor on these guys. Uh, oh, I don't have a D4. D4 uh, me. Counter up. Thank you. Uh, oh shit, that's a four damage. Four total? Yeah, four total, and I can so this spend... Is, this is the one that got a hit earlier, and it nearly looks like it's been ripped apart. Uh, this is like nearly falling apart, but still just barely holding itself together. Nice, and because uh, I hit with my Sacred Chime, I can spend one position to restore two position to a friendly creature adjacent to me. Mm -hmm. And if that's you... Uh, that's then I'll good. Ooh, yeah. So you mark off one position, and then uh, Lord Wakefield gets two. Yeah, Perfect. There you go. Right. Hell yeah! Thank you. That's you guys done. <laughs> Gutter. Uh, uh, you're awakened at the bonfire, confused. Lost. Uh, uh, <laughs> I've just been stabbed. <laughs> um. Oh god. Oh, I, should, I feel like I should come and save you. <laughs> <laughs> well, it will take you at least a full round to rejoin the fight. You have to run down the corridor and then move. Again. Did that um hollow die? That you it was hit. very close, I think. Yeah. Very close. Oh god, it's still alive. Oh god, that feels <laughs> bad. Uh, so if any of them are dead and then I come along, do they get back? I'm going to say dead ones won't. No. Right. Okay. But that could be wrong. <laughs> I need to check. 
gonna keep peeking around the corner until one of them dies. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> just like. <laughs> um, well, there, there is a doorway to the north. You could go and explore that. Oh, you do it. Split the party. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, I feel like I should go and be saving my lord. You want to save my lord? Did I respawn with my loincloth? No. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. what? You need to find a blacksmith to repair that. Yeah. <laughs> or find some pants off somewhere. Uh, yeah. Um, oh. I think because you died without it, you don't respawn with it. <laughs> oh, God. Wait, so how was I holding onto my Estus flask? Somehow. <laughs> It's let's, just, it's let's just not prison explore pocket. this. <laughs> the prison pocket. The prison. Great. Um, <laughs> it is a smaller, longer Esther Why is it glowing so much? The sun does shine there. <laughs> uh, at what point do I technically join the combat? So if you so if you double move and then you're like, I want to join the fight, then we'll have you. If you just want to hang back, as long as you're not in participating, we won't say you're joining. So you could literally be like the kid behind the bully, like, go on, me lord. I want to. I want to be. Uh, Run up yeah. and be stood. Oh, like peering. My lord, you, are you ready, my lord? <laughs> yeah, sure. I'll surprise them. <laughs> sure. Um, you can do that. <laughs> yeah, until you actually, when you say, I want to join the fight, then we'll have that be the count. Uh, yeah, it's fun. All right. Uh, all right. In that case, it's back to the enemies at the top of the round. Uh, I've got to make some attacks. Uh, two elite hollows attacking Lord uh, Wakefield. Miss. Followed by another miss. Nice. Dice rolls are terrible. Mm. Oh. Uh, Four hollows now, all on uh, Sir Jolly. That's a natural 20. Oh! <laughs> so that's going to be... So what are the crit rules? I believe the same as 5th edition. So uh, we're going to do it the, the raw way, though, which is yeah. you roll twice the dice. Yeah, yeah. So uh, this is going to be 3 plus 7. Uh, that's going to be 8 points of position <laughs> oh as this thing nice, it spicy. just lunges at you, catching your throat and like getting its fingernails under your helm, uh, like Oof. ripping at your flesh. It somehow got behind you and then did that really slow crit yeah, animation. Yeah. Oh my god, <laughs> you got backstabbed. <laughs> 16 still misses? Yes. Yeah, all miss, apart from that one critical that manages to land that lucky but devastating blow. No, uh, they all miss. We go to you guys. Man, I'll, I'll, I'll do a heal, like an actual proper oh. uh, spell heal, mm -hmm. um, which is just touch range and 1d8 plus 1. Yep. Uh, so, boom. 7 Ooh, plus eight. 1, so 8 healing. You just oh. get all of that back. Nice. Wow. Oh, what was this? Is this like you hold the chime up and like... I dong it. Dong. Scarily. Yeah. <laughs> 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 you feel like a golden, is it like a flame? Like we see like a little kind of flicker of flame or light? Uh, I, I have no magic, I just pour my Estus flask. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> just onto my helmet and it just goes in through the nice. grate. Sure. Uh, I'll you're a fake priest, you're a charlatan. Yeah, yeah nice. <laughs> cool, all right, so that's, uh, that's, that's next my to turn, go. Yeah. So who out of you two wants to go next? Do you want to take a swing? Yeah, I'll go take a it. swing. Um, well, you're surrounded by four of these normal dudes, yeah. these like regular normal dudes. I'll probably just roll another natural one, but sure. Um, 11 plus four is 15 to hit. Already a hit, yep. Uh, and then I rolled a five on my attack dice, five plus two, so six, seven. Seven points. Uh, another one of these, not the one that Dexter cut, but a diff uh, one to the side of you, one of the original three. Um, you cleave through it, and again, like this deep gash nearly severs its arm leg, but it's just Still barely up. Like, Still up. holding there. <laughs> um, Ooh, could I spend one position to deal two damage on a successful attack? I mean, absolutely, you can, yeah. Then I will do that. It dies! Yeah! <laughs> one extra, it had one hit point left. So, yeah, you cleave through it, cleaving it in two, and as it burns, you hear kind of like it turns to ash. And there is this kind of gentle kind of noise, almost like a, a flame being burnt. Uh, and yeah, uh, I will keep track of your souls for now. Uh, okay. Because if you all die, it doesn't matter. <laughs> Fair. Um, cool. What are we seeing? And this is SS Flask a action. Action. Mm -hmm. But can I use my bonus action to take a swing? No, because you have to. With two weapon fighting, you have to make an attack, okay. and then you get to bonus actions. Right? Okay. But no, SS Flask is your whole glug 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 time. All right. Uh, then I'm just gonna keep fucking swinging. Okay. Because I'm bodied, mate as well. Um, I'll turn around and hit the other shit guy. Okay, yeah. Like yeah. the one that was heavily injured, right? Uh, yeah. Sure. Yeah. Uh, oh. Uh, 8, 12, 13. Ah, already a hit. Yep. Yep. Uh, you don't need to roll, this is one point of damage, we'll kill this guy. Okay, he's dead. <laughs> so two of them are now, two of these regular hollows mm. you kind of cut through, and the nice. one that Cutter and Dexter had already injured, you right. rip through. Uh, uh, I'll try and make an attack. Oh, it's going to be two positions. Yep, I'll try and make an attack. 
for the cost of two positions. Okay, against uh, uh, an elite uh, one or a regular? Uh, is there another regular within range of them? There are two irregulars, yeah. They're both on Sir Jolly at the moment. All right, I'll do that. Take okay. a swing. One of the weaker ones. Uh, 15, 16. Hits. 16, okay. Uh, uh, that is three, four. Okay. And... Cut it severely. Uh, one of its arms is like barely, badly cut up. You can see it bleeding. Not Okay, good. bonus action slash. Sure. Okay. Uh, 10, that, uh, 14. Hits. Okay. Uh, no modifier in this, no it's modifier. just the dice roll. One. All right, well, <laughs> extra point. Hey, still, it all yeah. counts up. Right. Right. So yeah, yeah this yeah. one you kind of, with a flurry of strikes, you cut it apart, but it's still standing just barely. Um, uh, Cutter, what, uh, Gutter, what would you like to see? Oh, I feel like I'm, I'm going to join. <laughs> Please yeah, do. Boy. Yeah, boy. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, you just but, come running in. <laughs> uh, yeah, come running around, but I want to draw my, um, can I offhand wield my broken short sword? Yeah, if you want to yeah, lose the shield, so yeah. you've got club and then the broken short like sword. Like hold the club, the uh, <laughs> shield between my butt cheeks or something. Sure, and okay. sling it on your back. It's got like uh, a piece of rope hanging to come it. Come around, sure. um, uh, hopefully fast rolling the whole way. Right. Uh, just yeah. those guys. <laughs> yeah, I'm assuming, by the way, whenever you go anywhere, you are rolling. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. But we've got no stamina. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 Um, I will say that as soon as you seem to join the fight, this the one that was heavily injured previously, its wounds kind of glow with flame, and it comes back to full health. Cool. Um, well, I'm gonna blast him. Blast him with my club. Uh, take this. It's a ten. Oof. Ten will hit. Oh, these guys great. are these guys are particularly weak. These regular ones. Uh, that is three damage again. Three points of damage. And then, and then you can stab it with the sword. Yeah. Is an eleven. Eleven hits, but you don't get the modifier. It's just the dice. Cool. Roll. It's five. Oh, yeah. that's enough to actually kill it. So that nice. one, uh, you kind of whack it with the club and then thrust the broken blade into it, twisting, and it just collapses, <sighs> burning apart into ash again. I saved you, my lord! <laughs> Good work, Gutter. <laughs> Thank you, my lord. <laughs> All right, enemies ago uh, this turn around. There's only one of these uh, sort of undead regular hollows and then the two elites. The regular one's going to go for you again. So, Jolly, it's a miss. Uh, and then the two regular ones. One elite is going to probably, they're both probably still going to keep going for Lord Wakeford. I'm sensing that you are injured. I have 17 AC when I'm embodied. Uh, okay, but you're not using your shield, right? Uh, yeah, at 17 without the shield, oh, okay, it would be nice. 19 with the shield. Okay, nice. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Uh, so that's going to be a miss on the first one, and then the second one's also a miss. Oh. They're just missing, missing, missing. You guys are dodging and rolling and timing parries and all of that good Dark Souls n nonsense. Uh, but yeah, you guys get to go around. How are you looking? Uh, free position. <laughs> yeah. Right. Okay. Okay. He's got his Estus Flask. Uh, yeah, you could, you could do some moves if you want. I, Death's fun. True, yeah, I mean, Death's I'll let you guys see how you guys get on, and I'll decide if I heal at the end of it. You say that, Raz, I'm going to tell you now, you currently have, oh, you have 75 souls. If you die, you lose them, they'll be gone forever. Oh, I don't want to lose those. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'll let you guys uh, well, do some attacks and stuff. Yeah. I'll dive in front of you uh, onto the last <laughs> remaining <laughs> the garbage, yeah, garbage like, hollow. Yeah, one regular hollow and then the two elites. Uh, trying to jump on its back. Get the club and stab him. Nice, um, love it. The club is a 16. Hits. Um, for uh, four damage. Four points. And the sword is a 24. Hits. Oh uh, for five damage. That's oh enough to kill God. it. Boom. Boom. Wow. It kind of comes back from the dead. <laughs> <laughs> Just like a tornado, <laughs> stabbing Stab, and slap, slashing. Punch. But your AC is like 10 at the moment, isn't yeah. it? Because you don't have your shield. It's minus um, two to your AC. Uh, no, it's uh, 12. Yeah, so with, 12. that's with the shield, though. So oh, really? without the shield, it would be... It's oh, is it? It says, oh, it says buff plus two here. Yeah, the buff is what you get from being bloodied. Oh, yes. okay. All you right. should actually say plus two on there. Okay, so, mm -hmm. uh, so yeah, it's 10. Yeah. It's 10 AC. That's fine, you just kill that guy. Um, yeah, and I'm on top, just stabbing, just <laughs> non-stop. Ripping um, him apart. Cool. Yeah. Well, that's, there's only two of these elite ones left. Within the framework of this RPG, because obviously mm. in Dark Souls, we all kind of know that we die, come back, you know. But do we know that this is what should happen? Like, I'm screaming. We saw Gutter <laughs> die and is now somehow behind us and naked and then just barrels through and murders. I, I, I think things. that for the sake of it, it is certainly unusual. Okay, okay. I mean, we're all insane. But then you also, yeah, that's the thing. It's like you all awoke at that bonfire with no memories. Mm. 
no knowledge of like what you're doing here or anything. It's not that it's not the strangest, but it's pretty strange. Also, we're all giggling. <laughs> yeah, <that's laughs> yeah. I am. I am literally just going to giggle and down some of my Estus flasks. You want to drink your Estus as your yeah, action? So yeah, you roll your your position dice. Uh, six. You get six position back. <laughs> Laughing while okay. glugging it. And yes. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> and that's one charge of your Estus, yeah. which you have three okay. off. Uh, right. Expanded. Cleric, I fear I am the only sane one here. <laughs> the perfect response. <laughs> 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 so jolly. Oh well, here I go. <laughs> <laughs> so, there's only these two elites left now. Uh, nine plus four is thirteen to hit. Sadly, these guys, yeah, they're 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 what ramshackle armor they have. It lifts its little buckler, pshing, bounces off. Can you I could spend, you can yeah, spend... you can spend position to increase the dice roll. You can do it after you know the result too. Uh, How much you want to spend? You got thirteen, right? I got I got uh, twelve left to spend. Yeah, but you got a thirteen to hit, didn't you? Uh, thirteen. Uh, yeah, thirteen to hit. Okay. Do you want to spend so, to increase that? Can I spend to fourteen? You want to spend to fourteen? Fifteen. <laughs> yeah. How does this work? Do you have to say in one yeah, go, or guess? can you be like? I think you have to say in one go. I think. I'm going to sacrifice two just to be sure 15? it's up to 15. That's a hit. Yeah! Mm. Right, spend your two position, but you do hit. Uh, Don't forget you can spend position to increase damage as well. Oh shit, yeah. That's more. Uh, I rolled a one. Uh, Perfect so that's time. Three. Three points? Mm. I'm going to spend <laughs> one more position to do two more points of damage, so five damage. That's true, you get to do, yeah. That's your special uh, longsword. My special boy. Ability. Nice. Yeah, well, you do strike a blow against one of these elite warriors and just stumble back. Uh, oh, so it's just me now, right? Yes. Uh, what is it to like swap weapons and? Uh, it's just part of an action. So. Okay, cool. Uh, yeah, I'll switch to my mace. I'll two-hand it. Oh, and you have two-hand it. Hell yeah. So minus two to your AC for the time being, then. Oh, neat. Back. Okay. Yeah. Um, is uh, it a versatile weapon? It is a versatile weapon. Nice. So. Yeah, I get it out, I put it in one hand, I accidentally put it in my left hand. I'm going through the menus, I'm switching it. <laughs> yeah. like, oh, right, quick fire bombs! Oh, I don't want those! <laughs> uh, yeah, and I'll try and I'll try and hit this guy. Uh, bam. Twelve spending two, because I know fifteen works. So I'll spend two position. To a fourteen, which yeah. is a miss. Oh wait. Oh. No, hang on. I meant to 15, so three. <laughs> it does seem like you could just keep spending it. Um, there is no limit on how much position I was aiming to get off. to 15, so I... <laughs> uh, can I do three then? You can only spend it once per turn. Uh, okay. You can only spend oh. position once per turn. Okay, so yeah, that's something we need to remember. You can only do it once per turn. Uh, you can't trigger critical fix. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can only ever spend it on yourself. Yeah, it doesn't say that like you can't just be like, well, I'll spend another one. Uh, uh, one more. Yeah, one more. So yeah, you I was spend... a I was aiming for fifteen. Sure. I just right. I just math bad. Yeah. So uh, yeah, I'll use three and that'll be a hit. So uh, yep. it's one d eight, and I don't think I have any bonus to this. Oh, plus one. Plus one. Four. Four points. Is this the one that's already been injured? Uh. Isn't this the only one left? No, there's two of these elites. Ah, shit. Yeah, I'll do the injured one. All right. Uh, oh, the big yeah, there's an injured one, and then there's a, a completely unbothered yeah, one. Yeah. All of these armoured? Yeah. Yes, these are oh, both right, armoured. Okay. Yeah. Um, and yeah, just as a point of reference for the future, you can only spend position once per turn. So. Uh, That's fine, yeah. I think, yeah, for I those, think, I think your right. abilities are fine. I think like weapon abilities oh, and stuff yeah, is different. Yeah. 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 It just means on those default ones. Yeah, I right. didn't spend it more than once anyway. Cool. That's fine. So that's, that was you done. That's everyone's taking a turn, right? Yes. All right, monsters, the two guys remaining. Um, they... So I have 13 AC then. If, if that's assuming I had the shield. Yes. I, if I don't have that, I'm 13 AC. Okay. Because right. the shield is two? Two, yeah. Two, yeah, 13 then. All right. Uh, well, in that case, yeah, we'll do one attack against you. But I think now that these two have both engaged, uh, yeah, we'll, go, we'll go one on the third. Uh, that's going to be only a 12 to hit you. Thankfully, didn't hit. Miss. That's going to be a 14 to hit. Oh, I got 13. Oh, bums. Damn. It's rusted sword. That's nine position. Oh, man. You know what? So, with my mace, I have a special move where I can spend two position to increase my AC by two. Yeah. I would have survived that hit. <gasps> well, you can, oh. you can see. You can, yeah, I mean, like you. No, I mean, I would have. I'm dead. I'm gonna just die. You're just gonna die. <laughs> okay. All right. Uh, oh, oh shit. God. Nine. I've got ten health total. Right. Just as a note, the three of you have a hundred souls currently. You just lost a hundred souls. 
Oh yeah, because nothing died while nothing. you were coming round, did it? No. Oh yeah. So, uh, <laughs> so roll a d20 for me, please, Oh Tom. Yeah, shit. Uh, <laughs> oh, 14. Let's find out what it does. Can uh, I steal his souls like a vacuum cleaner? No, you cannot steal his <laughs> souls. They're his souls, they're gone forever. I come back as a red spirit. There is actually a thing in here for having summon signs, and you oh, can really? they're kind of so oh, you can shit. have invader ones as traps and you use an NPC stat block and it's like an AI. Oh, cool. It's like a it's like a potential trap. Uh, That's cool. Where is death? <laughs> it's gone zoo. I should have marked it. I think it's the whole book. I mean, I'm, I'm out of this like this <laughs> round of combat, died. so uh, it's not what your TNT. Mm. They should have like a, right. a, a buzzer that comes with the book that you oh, press to say oh, sound, okay. sound effect. Indifference. Yeah. Death does not care about you. Why should you care of it? You are merely one more thing cursed to resist your natural end. No changes occur. Oh, great. Oh. Okay. So no, for nothing good, nothing bad. All right. Um, but you do lose out on those souls and. Uh, yeah. Nummy, nummy souls. Yeah, and I don't even Where's know what it costs you to level out. up. Actually, we can't even level up at this bonfire anyway. Not so anymore. Like... <laughs> uh, okay, <laughs> so yeah, that was the two guys' attacks. The three of you jump back into a combat. Uh, you've got two of these things left. Uh, I, I way over-prepared for this. <laughs> well, I how long this combat is taking. <laughs> I'll just start slashing. All right, go for uh, it. The weaker of the two. Sure. Yeah, I there's one injured one and one's completely injured un boy. Let's go for the injured boy. All yeah. right. Uh, that is a 18 to hit. 18 will hit. Okay. And that will be uh, eight damage. Eight points of damage to the injured one, you said, Jim. yeah? Yeah. Uh, that is enough to finish them off. So you watch as, like, uh, the little weight thrusts thrust the, the twin blade in and pulls it to the side, and this bones, this hollowed creature falls apart. Now, do I get damage. those souls? Uh, you do technically get those souls. Mm. Nice. So, you, uh, so that was worth 50 souls, that one. So you're all on 150, you're on 50. Uh, I, will, I will again do my, uh, my free position owl to make a, another attack. Okay. Uh, so I'm now bodied again. Okay. <laughs> uh, that is a 21. Hits. Uh, See, so this is it. Uh, that is six slashing damage. Sure. Wait, seven? No, wait. Is it is it plus one to the damage? Uh, uh, not for the, uh, for this attack because it's a normal plus attack. Plus two to Dex and the AC. Yes, yeah, it is. Yeah, uh, yeah seven then. Seven points. Okay. Uh, and then offhand attack. Okay. Uh, oh, sorry, that was at disadvantage. Ah. Uh, da, 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 eight, nine, ten, of twelve, twelve. I'll spend free position to hit. Yeah. So yes. that happens. Okay, yeah. Yeah. All right. Yep, yeah. so that does happen. So we get the seven damage. Uh, and then offhand. No, offhand. Okay. That is a 16. Hits. Uh, Just a D8. Do, do, do. Four. Another four points. Wait, did you do the damage for the one you boosted? Yeah, I did. Oh, okay, yeah. 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 Yep. Remember, you can't spend more position because yeah, yeah. you already spent yeah. it. So, yeah, nice. So, whoosh, another flurry of strikes. Lord Wakefield tears down one of them and then slashes into the other. Gutter or Sir Johnny? I feel like I'm, I'm just going to keep stabbing yeah. this one this, on the ground. This guy's in a frenzy. Um, <laughs> and, yeah, you go for Wait, it. Wait, didn't that one die? It did die. Okay. <laughs> but he's but still... He's ah! making mince meat right now. He's yeah. making more yeah. souls out of it. <laughs> uh, 15 to hit. Uh, 15 will hit, just barely. Five, six. Seven, yeah, seven. Um, Would you like to boost your damage? Because you didn't boost your attack roll. So you can spend position to boost damage. I will spend one position to deal plus two damage. That's true, you can do so that. Eight, That's, nine. Yeah, good. This one is nearly on its, on its last legs. Just a few pieces of meat hanging together mm. by loose, sinuous threads. Gutter, do you just uh, want to go nuts on this one? Sure, yeah. Okay, just nice. just uh, right. turn and, yeah, like leap over them, jump sure. onto it. Okay, uh, nice. Uh, ooh, that's a bad miss. That's a um, miss. My What's offhand this? little baby sword. That's a super bad miss as well. Clang, 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 clang. <laughs> just just, just flailing around. Um, I'm just running, like, just rolling around him, screaming. <laughs> yeah, um, trying to, like, find pots to break into. Yeah, yeah. Um, but did... Nice. Nothing. Literally nothing. Nothing. Dexter, is there anything you'd like to do at the bonfire? Uh, at the bonfire? Yeah. Cry. Cry. Okay, uh, nice. Yeah, no, I'll... I'll... 
kind of do the same as before, just walking around the corner, Slowly but not mambly. like. Yeah. <laughs> uh, it's like purposely limping. This a bit. remaining one is going to miss with like its one attack, it, but like. Um, Who's he attacking? Because I've got low. <laughs> oh, that's true. It, that's a very good point. Uh, let me. I'll roll a d4. One, two, one, two, three, and then four. I'll reroll. Oh, of course. It's <laughs> three. Uh, so it's so jolly misses. Okay. Uh, so yeah, you guys go again. This thing is on two hit points. By Keep the way. screaming and ch chopping. Uh, that's a hit with the club. Fifteen. Go. Uh, five hit points. <laughs> you its head and it breaks. Just its head off. stood on top of it, just <laughs> smashing until there is no head. There is it is just left. mush. Oh. Cool. So uh, everybody but Tom is on two hundred souls. Uh, oh, Tom has well, one hundred souls. <laughs> I think I should be on. They killed one of the regular hollows before. That's I true. You got have 175. Boom. Well mentioned. Good. Good play. Get an uh, uh, in no. This game. No. Listen. No inspiration <laughs> in Dark Souls. Please. Can I gain a humanity? <laughs> no. Oh, <what>? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe later. Um, but yeah, you now see. Yeah. Now, uh, as I mentioned, you ran down this corridor. Uh, there is the corridor that you're currently moving down, Dex. There is a wooden door on the uh, the left hand side, the northern side here. Oh um, right. Okay. And then, as you guys have run down the other corridor where you fought these hollows, at the end of the corridor there is another wooden door. Um, and you do hear like sounds of something moving behind it. I'm going to step over Gutter, who's still on the ground, and be like, that was my kill, boy, and keep walking down the hall and chug my Estus flask. Oh, my lord, sure. I'm yeah, so you can sorry. Roll, do another roll of your Estus. Uh, four. Okay. okay, so I am on seven. Yes, all of your spells refresh as well, Tom. So oh, you get me. all of your Estus flask, all of your spells. Actually, yeah. Uh, yeah. Well, because I was at bonfire, yeah. So your uh, Estus dice, Kim, if you move your book, it's a little bit further along. <laughs> Screw it. Can I, can I chug my, no. my last? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Can you, <laughs> yeah. Have, can you have oh, combat ten. between players? Four. You you can. I'm not going to say Eight. no. This is Dark Souls. When does combat end? <laughs> can I? The does, combat with the monsters has ended. But oh, if, if you if if I was to hand in my shield, right, and then say I'm declaring combat with you, right, every round of combat he will heal one from the shield. <laughs> <laughs> I will say that you can. Can we you just can't pass have... around the healing shield? <laughs> the, he the healing shield only functions. Like, right, like to keep attack. hitting each other. Because like, yeah. if I'm you know, in combat, I just keep dodging. It's weird. The magic of the shield of this plain <laughs> plank shield only works when it's combat against monsters. Wow. Really? <laughs> so aren't bizarre. We Oh. Kind of monster? No. We, we <laughs> were is, the monsters. Isn't all man the, the monster? <laughs> <laughs> Are we the bad guys? <laughs> okay. No. Well, I'm, I'm <laughs> still, nice try, but no. Gutter is still going to believe it would work. So he's like <laughs> passing it around. Please use my magic healing shield. <laughs> um, it looks like you know a bit of a toilet seat or something. Okay. Like that. Yeah, like, basically, like an outhouse door. Yeah. Like, yeah like, that's oh. it. With a little moon shape <laughs> little moon in shape, it. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. All right. Well, so Dexter, you, you follow up behind them. Yeah, were you, were you getting the door at the end of the corridor? Yeah, I'll go towards the door. The one oh, with the go, noise behind it. Yeah, you go up to the door. I oh, I want to scurry up ahead. No, my lord! And, like, open. Start well, opening you, it for You try to open it and it, it's stuck. There's like a jam. The door doesn't open from this side. <laughs> <laughs> Oh god, did that message come up? Oh, god. It does, but it literally does. What did you do? Wait, shit, I don't know. You going to kind of go up to it? I'm going to roll into it. Roll into it. You hit like a thud, you kind of throw your shoulder against it. Okay. Um, and you, you hear a voice come from inside. Oh, someone there, right? <laughs> 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 oh, there it is! So immersive. <laughs> no, you don't. You don't sound like hollows. I can tell. I'll let you pass. And then you hear like something heavy being lifted from the door, and it opens, uh, and it reveals another room in beyond. Ooh. Can we see uh, the dude? Yeah, well, you don't see the dude immediately. But what you do see is the room beyond. Um, it looks like it was once a bedchamber of a noble lord, but it's long since Ooh. been abandoned. The once plush bed has been ripped apart. The wood used to barricade the windows and doors. Uh, a man dressed in a long leather coat and wearing a wide-brimmed leather hat seems to occupy the room. He looks very worn and tired, and he steps, he peers out. He's just like, ah. Oh. You're no hollows. The thing is, I've heard your impression of a very particular character in Dark Souls, and if it's this guy, <laughs> fuck. <laughs> We're screwed. <laughs> All right, we'll find out. Uh, but yeah, he kind of looks around. Oh, awake, are you? Uh, 
Do you know why we were there in that room? I know, I know quite a few things about the castle. Well, step in, friend, you're safe here. Uh, if you've dealt with these, these cretins that were outside my room. Uh, the name's Grion. Pleasure to meet you. You can see that as he talks, he's like playing with a knife, like a throwing knife. He's kind of like balancing it over his knuckles and sort of like twisting it in his hand, things like that. He's just like, ah, yes, so don't know where you are, do you? Now, this is the Lake Castle. Doesn't really have a name beyond that. I'm gonna sheath my swords, uh, swords and just... No, my lord! <laughs> <laughs> you don't have a loincloth anymore. Oh, yeah. Are they like... <laughs> it's, if it's a bedroom, are they like chests of drawers or anything? Uh, they, they, they go... Looks like there were, but they've all been broken apart. But what there is, is there's like the, uh, the sort of the bed, sh the bed sheets and like the, it was like a four poster bed. So it has like those kind of like curtain drapes. Those have been like just discarded into a pile. Uh, what about the dude to be killed? Did they did they burn away or? Uh, they, it's like their, their armor was like mostly just like like the ones who had armor. It was like rusted plates. It wasn't really armor. It was kind of just barely hanging together. There's okay. probably like some filthy rags that you could you know turn into pants. Perfect. Yeah. <laughs> um, or roll you could for pants. Yeah, you can. You don't even need to roll. You just get pants. It's a seven. So they're, <laughs> they're not, not the great. best. Uh, they're, <laughs> but you could get like some of these sheets of the bed, like the bed linens, and like wrap those around you and stuff like that as well. You could make an impromptu toga if you wished. Uh, I don't want to. Don't want to be that covered. No, uh, little mini skirt. Yeah, really small. <laughs> yeah, nice. As soon as he's done that, swords in. <laughs> 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 Very quite good. quite familiar with each other, it seems. He's my lord. Ah, indeed. Uh, the lord, eh? Yeah, I'll wander into the room. I'll be, like, looking around, seeing if there's any, like... Well, just more creepers around. There's no creepers. You do know that on the other side, so where you've entered, uh, on the direct opposite side, the northern wall, yeah. there's another doorway that's been barricaded from within. So it looks like he's oh. barricaded himself in this room, but there's another door leading out of here. Um, and he says, uh, So... Woken up, eh? Uh, maybe we can help each other. Uh, I'm looking to maybe try and get out of here. Maybe we can do a little favor for each other. I'll tell you something about you, and then you help me. Or you help me, and I'll tell you something about you. I've got a few trinkets I can offer to sweeten the deal. And what exactly is it that you want? Oh, there's a, there's a portcullis barring entry or exit into the castle. Now, it's a bit too dangerous for me to go and open it myself, but you look like a, a competent bunch. If you go and open up the, the castle's portcullis, uh, come and let me know when you've done that. I'll tell you what I know about yourselves and I'll give you a couple of treats. <laughs> where, where is this portcullis? Oh, it's just down in the courtyard. You'll need a key to get it. And he pulls out of like a leather pocket, a small iron key. Uh, and when you touch it, it says, uh, <laughs> hallway. <laughs> it says hallway key. <laughs> um, but he offers that and says, like, this will open the door that you must have passed on your way in uh -huh. from, from that corridor back there. Or I suppose you could risk trying to get into the, uh, the tower beyond this door, but it's dangerous. Archers on the battlements will spot you. That's what I'm good at dodging. <laughs> well, if you think you're up to it, you can, by means, I'll open the way for you. Do you know the way to the nearest flame and one passed back just bled dry? Oh, well, that's a terrible omen if the fires are dying out. A terrible omen? I think. Uh... <laughs> 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 we know it's not the way. I tell you, actually, I do know where the other one is. It's up in the chapel with the sister. Uh, it's one of the gatehouses. The, the room above it is a small chapel. There's a bonfire there. I tell you what, if you bring me the sister's lantern, I'll sweeten the deal. I'll give you, uh, I'll give you something real special. <laughs> Who is this sister? Is it your sister? No, oh, she's, like sister. A nun. she's like a nun. She's like a nun sister. You know? Oh, I'm sure she's totally fine. We can, <laughs> we can kill a nun. <laughs> we could take down a nun. Well, if you, if you bring me a lantern, oh yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll give you a right good reward. Is that back the way we came? Uh, yeah, it's on. The, it's by the courtyard. Yeah, it's above where the uh, the gatehouse is. But some Perfect. of it's blocked off, and there's all these kind of cretins roaming around. Dost thou have <laughs> uh, any spoils we could buy now? Uh, nothing to buy, no. But if you do, if you open the gatehouse for me, I'll definitely give you a, a uh -huh. treat or two. <laughs> 
Bye. <laughs> I guess let's go. <laughs> sure, yeah. Do you want? Yeah. yeah. Then, <laughs> well, you could. Do you want to go back the way you came and go through that locked door, or do you want to try and go uh, out onto the battlement? So, which way was the sister? Was the sister in the tower? Uh, or? She's in a tower above one of the gatehouses. So you guys don't know because you've not seen this stuff yet, right? Like but you said, the tower was through the barricaded door. Uh, there, that's one way to go, yeah. or you can go into the courtyard and then try and find your way from there. I mean, it might make more sense when you actually, you know. Get outside, but right now you just got a key. It. So like, yeah, I mean, maybe. What about you, Sir Johnny? Any plan? Any thoughts to share with the team? <laughs> Lots of thoughts, <laughs> but I don't think any of them are going to get any answers because <laughs> everyone is just batshit crazy. Yeah. Oh yeah. yeah absolutely. <laughs> or weird, or creepy, or a mixture of all three. I, I think, Sir so, so Johnny, like, why, why are we? Why? Why are we killing the sis sister? Why was that the immediate thought? Oh, well, he said he's got trinkets for us. A lantern. So we I mean, you don't have to kill you're, her, but you're if you can get the lantern for me. You're a man of religion. Why are you killing sisters? I think I am. <laughs> I may have been, but no, it's not do I, for I have died. Well, you speak like a fancy religious man. Thank you. You do the sparkly, sparkly heels like a yes, fancy I religious do. man. I do. Maybe I am. I believe in God now. Well, okay. wonderful. <laughs> Any particular god or all of them? Goodbye. <laughs> He's the gone. <laughs> the sun. The, the, the sun. Yeah, okay, yes. Yeah, so yep. That one's, yeah, okay. Lord Wakefield? What a great exchange. It's an end to <laughs> me. We could, we could go and get that lantern. It might make the road ahead easier. Which way, my lord? What do you all think? Through the tower or through the courtyard? Uh, I, I think we have a key. We should use the key. Does sound like a plot point. <laughs> <laughs> what is this key. plot point you keep talking of? <laughs> oh, um, I don't know. It's voices in my head. <laughs> right. I keep seeing I keep messages seeing come messages up. Messages popping up before my eyes. <laughs> right. I'm getting key. Wikipedia. <laughs> 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 Let me look up the strategy guide. <laughs> Uh, cool. Well, you guys can make your way back. You kind of make your way back to the corridor with the tapestries. Um, As we you, leave that yes. man, I'm going to pull a, a little carved stone and throw it on the ground. It just says, Thank you. <laughs> 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 Thank you. Uh, is, 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 is this the route That's to Wolf's car? Yeah. Uh, so I, I get that. So like, that, that would be further be, on. What? So that would be if you carry so much so Imagine you're, like, you've come in through a door. Yeah. The noob, there's like a room with the, the weird, creepy guy. Oh, I love Opposite that. where you came in, there's another door <laughs> that, that leads insane. to the back yeah. to the tower. Yeah. Or you can go back the way you came, and then there is a wooden door leading off from the tapestry hallway. Oh, yeah. Um, and then you did mention that you wanted to briefly look at the tapestries, but I think like then combat happens. So I don't know if you want to revise that. I'll just look at I'll, As we're walking by, I'll just be looking at them and like running my hands over them. Okay. I'm just feeling the nice... Feeling the nice tapestries, so, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah the, uh, as you kind of make your way back to the locked door, um, the corridor here is, yeah, lined with faded, tattered tapestries. Uh, the tapestries, the first one depicts a great tower with a terrible long-limbed beast shrouded in mist laying waste to soldiers. The second shows a hunt, except the horses and the hounds are skeletal and they chase a ragged, shapeless evil with a distorted human face. The last is a knight bearing a shield with the icon of a heron surrounded by flames of all different sizes. At the edges, claws and tentacles reach out. Hmm. But you get to the door. Oh, shit, okay. Uh, <laughs> uh, yeah. There's probably like items scattered around this place that has all the lore deep in its flavor text. Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> maybe, maybe. Uh, there was also this uh, doorway uh, in the room you started in that you didn't explore. Well. Yeah, but key. Yeah, no, no, it's fine. I'm just reminding you. Yeah. Yes. Um, yeah, let's, let's, let's crack it open. Crack it open hey. and see what's... Slot the, you slot the key in the lock, turns, opens, the, the wooden door opens, and you get the sudden rush of uh, fresh air. Oh. Um, there is a slight damp cold mist. Uh, that kind of rolls like a in. white mist? Or... Uh, no, we're very okay. Oh, yeah, it's that <laughs> solid mist there. Just step through. Ow. No, this is, uh, it, it's, it's kind of faded, um, and you, the stairs, there's like a set of wooden stairs that lead down into the courtyard of a small castle. Um, and yeah, you see the courtyard before you. Uh, the courtyard itself 
Uh, it's quite large. You can see directly on the opposite side, uh, there seem to be some battlements and it's quite hazy, so it's difficult to see uh, in too great detail from where you are. Uh, there does also appear to be, as you go down into the courtyard to the left, the east of the castle, there is uh, stone steps that leads up into a grand central keep. Um, that is like the main part of the castle. And then to the west, uh, you can see two tall gate towers and uh, an, an entryway into a portcullis. And then there seems to be, you don't know what else is beyond that. Um, Man, that is a lot of places to go. <laughs> that is a lot of places to go, but this is the perfect time for us to take a quick break where you yeah. guys can have a think what you would like to do. Uh, I just like... want to get to the next bonfire. Yeah. That's literally... I want he to just wants to spend the song. So it feels That's, exactly I think like all that. Of us. Yeah. 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 Like, oh god, well, We've got to the spend bonfire. them, we've got to spend them, we've got to spend them. I've just died, so I'm like, fine. Yeah. But still, yeah. <laughs> Jesus. Well, uh, you do, oh. yeah. I mean, he said that the he knew thought that there was a bonfire up in the chapel. In the chapel. Mm-hmm. Let's head there. Let's head right. to the chapel. Keep. One of the gate houses, yes, gate towers, yeah. Cool. Man, right. this is cool as hell. Yeah, mm -hmm. I like this. It's yeah. pretty, it's, yeah, it's definitely like, uh, it's got that kind of cool, oh, salty vibe. brutal yeah. as well. It's like brutal. two of us have Delicious died already. Thing, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I think just taking out that death saving throws, right? Like zero hit points, yeah. you're dead. Yeah, yeah. Like, man, up you're zero, gone. that's it. You died. See ya. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And you it's died. Like, and when you're spending position to do cool stuff, that's way, like you were on like three at one point because you kept yeah. spending it. Yeah. Um, so it's I also like, I, I like kind of kind of gaming it as well. Like I'm going to spend three hit points so I can be bloodied for my next yeah, turn. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. and it's, I think that it kind of encourages that. Yeah. Like, there's definitely some like, I think that now we're moving away from being so close to the bonfire, the whole like, I'm going to run into combat should yeah. hopefully become uh, not as much of a problem. Oh yeah. Damn. I mean, not that it was a problem. You can do it. It's just it kind of screws it yeah, 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 like kind of mixes things up. And uh, yeah, you have less. Anyway, nice break yeah. time. Break time, and then uh, we'll be back. We'll be back in like five to continue on our little adventure here. Awesome. See you soon. See you in a bit. Bye. You've now reached Guardian 7. I didn't even know that was a rank. I don't even like salsa. I don't even like salsa. I'm a guac guy. Fuck your salsa. I, they are right here. Don't. No. Right. Bring it. Oh, oh, no. No. Oh, George. Oh, George. I'm so sorry. Oh, Jesus. Lights out. Wait, lights out. Lights out. You've got your light on, Flax. You've got your light on. Fuck. Oh, that reversing though, come on. This is going really well. It's going really, really well. <laughs> it's fine. <laughs> I'm not getting out of your car. I'm not getting out of your car. It's fine. Oh no, he gave her food. He gave her food. <gasps> He's a genius, this boy. Pro play. <laughs> Barry's team is still in the base. Please, please, Barry, please. Let's go, Mango. Yeah, yas. <laughs> oh, destroyed Rams! literally Rams! everything. Rams! Barry fell. How did Barry do a please, fall down? Harry, please, Harry, please. Nice, look at that. He made himself a little kissing booth. Um, and he's giving out free kisses for any vindicators that want one. Oh, Rams! You need to sit with your legs and your knees directly under your oh, chin. Yeah, That's I how do. Harry sits. Please, please. Sorry, you need to stop, Rams. He's got your game. There you go. Please. What's happening, Harry's? Oh, Kirsty missed the Harry attack. Oh, this. she needs to be so careful. She's got the key. She gets knocked out the map from one HP Barry. Heal, Harry. Heal. Oh, where did he go? I don't even know where he went. He got hit by a bush. <laughs> <laughs> by a sweet berry bush. Oh.
Farmland. Porridge. Steamboat. Restaurant? Restaurant? Farmland? Porridge? Steamboat? <laughs> am I having a stroke? <laughs> Why am I moving my head like I can... <laughs> this looks Italian! It might be dead center. I'm confident with that. <laughs> Damn! Like, look at that! Look at that! Todd Ringer is a man of blunt truth and affirmative action. It's like well, he's reading I'm, out a wiki. I'm reading the wiki. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, is reading the top Googler? <gasps> oh my god! <laughs> oh my god! Oh my god. He's a top Googler! Oh my god! <laughs> Oh, wow. <laughs> Outed. <laughs> I wasn't thinking. <laughs> what oh. have I done? <laughs> what a goofack. I love that. <laughs> oh my god. This run is the one. The lack of fuck ups is so encouraging and Ow. gives me a warm, fuzzy feeling inside. I'm telling you, this is the one. It's looking good, clips. Uh, can you explain that? I didn't even see him. Fuck me. <laughs> I thought it was closer. I thought we were closer. Hold. Come on, man. Come on, man. I'm fucking done with this stupid fucking... Time. Two, two, four, seven. Woo! <laughs> it's over. Oh! All right, Rabs. That's yours to beat and Lib's if she wants to take and it. And tame. <laughs> and we are done. Fifty-nine seconds. That was fifty-nine seconds. Rabs beaten. Oh my god! Okay, we need to watch this together. <laughs> you can see his little clench fist already. <laughs> She's gonna beat me. She's gonna beat me. She's, gonna beat, me. She's gonna beat me. She's beat me. She's beat me. Oh, you did it! <laughs> exactly. Yes. Two hours, one minute. How'd you feel, Ross? <laughs> she beat me by four seconds. <laughs> and new time is. I feel like Top Up has the advantage because it's like. Oh, wait, this is gonna be dead. Oh, 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 we get it! We get it! It hit! 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 It Gonna get this. You walk up and the they're gonna like vote. Do. Vote! And they're gonna. No, come back here! <laughs> oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Oh! I find the gun and fix it. Hella tight today. <laughs> <laughs> what? Oh, he's gonna do this! He was just complimenting you and you just got him. Oh, he said hella tight. <laughs> yes, seriously, hella tight. I am not standing for this. <laughs> oh! No, sure, yeah, she's gone. I'm not gonna lie, Martin. That's the one of the weirdest things I think I've ever seen in my life. This is not good. Joe's in. He's got Let's the bonus Let's see if he gets the penta. Can he get the penta kill? In that glass is way too overpowered. As well. It's not too overpowered at all. He's just abusing the... What's he uh... healing? How's he healing so much? Oh, look, it's another the piece of armor. Broken. Joe's shield's gone. He's gone. Hey, hey, hey. Go get it. Beautiful. Stop that Shots. new one. We love Sorry. to see it. And then Boba's courageous uh, archer. Grabs, I think, rather than going up, you go down. Weapon called Ha Ha. All I've got is Iron Sword. Oh my god, he's near me. They've got to hold it right now. This isn't good. They've let them make so much progress. Oh, fuck! He just fell! He fell with the. No! He fell into the void! No way! Someone go back up and get the wall. I fell down a hole. Hopefully they know he's that prompt in chat as well. I'm gonna have to ask to speak to a manager. I don't like ladders. Rich. 
Whatever, chat. Another hundred, okay. One, two, three, four. I'm gonna rock you very German. Ten, eleven, twelve, fifteen. And his name is Sock. Sock my boss. Right in the ass. Right in the asshole. Take this, Harambe. Chonkers, thank you so much. Ah, Chonkers! Chat, don't look. Stop it! Put them away! Get dressed! Can I stop touching myself? Buck, buck, bitch. <laughs> That's up. Traditional straw coat. Why the fuck would I wear this? Two, one, fifty-two, fifty-three, fifty-four. Schmackle. Two, three, four. as well. What if I hit him with a stick? Oh! <laughs> Look, I'm bowing my legs! Quick, throw yourself in front of me. I landed in the water, I'm fine. Oh! <laughs> oh, they're angry at me and I'm stuck on a tree! <laughs> oh. I've got enough time now to make... Oh! It's fine, it's a cow. <laughs> hey guys. Do you like thoughts on Twitch? Because it's about to get sexy. We are going to mess around with Naked Rider. <laughs> I can see right up there. Right up his asshole. Wait, there's also one doing me from behind. <laughs> right, now to make me very voluptuous. Me and Big Lid, we share a lot in common. I want you to take a pictograph of the first perfectly round pale thing. My ass! If you show me something that's exactly the same as my favorite thing. My ass! I bet I could play this game if I didn't have sound. The sound is what fucking terrifies me. <laughs> oh, stop talking, mama. You're such a needy boy. <laughs> what about right in the dick? When did you get that big thing? Oh, the big guy? My dick? I've had that for about a month. It's a big hit with the kids. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, no. Okay, she's gonna sit on the keyboard. Oh, <laughs> good morning. Uh, good welcome morning. back. <laughs> uh, welcome back to the Dark Souls role-playing game by Steamforge Games. Thank you very much, Steamforge Games. One thing I forgot to mention at the beginning, the beginning of the stream is you can pre-order it right now. You can get the collector's edition. <laughs> oh. I'm sure there's been links in chat and there's been a lot of spamming of that stuff. Yeah. But that's why we're playing it. It's sponsored by Steamforge. Thank you very much for letting us play it. But with that said, in our game, so far you have awoken... Uh, you have fought six die six undead dudes. Mm -hmm. Two of you have died. Yep. yep, yep uh, yeah. And that's where we are. Um, you've got on a key. You've unlocked the courtyard. Yeah. Uh, you spoke to a creepy guy. <laughs> Very Dark Souls. I mean, you know, the bonfire where we started, we also can't use to level up because you pulled a broken <laughs> short sword out. Yeah. <laughs> so we're trying to find I, like the next one. You know, sometimes it's like you know, you play with somebody. It's my first time running a game for Tom, and he's like, "I want to pull the sword out of this bonfire." I was like, "Absolutely, you can." I'm not going to say no. <laughs> but man, there are going to be consequences. <laughs> well, <laughs> technically, shouldn't it be a coiled sword? Coiled. Uh, uh, is it always a coiled sword uh, though? For it to be a bonfire. Is it always a coiled uh, sword? Be, uh, yeah. Well, yeah. Wow. Not this one. It's a starting bonfire. It's it's starting bonfire. Starting. <laughs> this is an off-brand bonfire. This is bonfire. a shitty bonfire. But yeah. also we've got like I've got 150 souls. Gutter has 175 and then 200 for the rest. And I will tell I you. I don't know if that's enough to level up. I, 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 would you like to know how much it is to level up? Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. Uh, I can tell you that it is. Get past all of these spells and things. I'm pretty sure it's 300 for level two. Uh, 300. Oh, and you okay. spend it. So, so, like, you once you spend it, that's gone, those 300. We have to kill two plebs. To couple of plebs. Boys, yeah. Couple of plebbies. Um, and then I think the next level is 900 for level wow. three. Okay. So, oh, but wow. also, I will say this like, you guys have played Dark Souls and Kim's watched it. I will tell you now. There might have been some souls, like item souls, that you can find as well. Shit, the broken parts in the first mm. room. We never checked those. Fuck. Why did we not loot stuff? 
<laughs> we could turn back round. You can I mean, it's right there. there. Do you like, want to go? Just on well, the corridor. I mean, it might have been those urns. It might have been the other room. It I might mean, have been maybe if you killed the weird glow? guy. I feel like we'd, we'd see that white glow, yeah, it's a right? White glow. That would be a highlighted item. What's your passive perception? It would be so obvious. My passive yeah. 11. Uh, mm -hmm. Passive perception's <laughs> 11. Yeah. <laughs> no. Yeah, I don't, no, I'm not even going to ask. No. <laughs> your wife's 11 as well. <laughs> there you go. All of us is 11, yeah. I can't, All right. Oh, yeah. I can't even find it on the things. Okay, there it is. Found it. If you want to uh, go back, yeah. I mean, like, yeah, there's no, no. It's, it's right next to us, right? It's right there, right? What, you want to go search? You want to go search the bots? Also, yeah. like, we could sit I don't want to go back and search I'm going to go to the big flaming Nate tapestry and pull it down. Okay. All right. So, so, so Wakefield goes back and he starts pulling tapestries down. Um, yeah, you pull them down, nothing, nothing behind them. Yeah, you just pull them down there, you're ripping your hands. Cloves. <laughs> I, I just want to be sat at the bottom of the steps. I'm not going back inside. And <laughs> trimming my toenails with a broken sword. <laughs> like, Nick. Like, like, yeah, really. Sword. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. They're so long, the toenails, that oh, like, God, it's just, like, just disgusting. Are you sitting at the bottom of the stairs? Oh. Or at the top of the stairs? Exactly. Yeah, they were going down, weren't they? Yeah, the bottom. Why okay. not? Yeah, no, why would you want to sit at the top of the stairs? No, that's it's just so I can describe the courtyard. Oh, okay, I, I'm not paying attention to oh, the courtyard even until people come back. I want okay. to sit down and start hacking there. and coughing loudly. <laughs> and sure. just, oh, coughing loudly. Yeah, yeah oh, just just causing an absolute mess. Oh, brilliant. Right, what are the, what are the rest of you doing? This is perfectly normal. Just watching Lord Wakefield just pull tapestries down and punch <laughs> a few more walls. I don't know. Like. <laughs> Swinging his sword at every wall, trying to see if it's an illusion. Oh, yeah, I imagine I'll... the clerics just dive rolling down the corridor. I'll, I'll walk down the stairs slowly. I will try to sense the presence of the good flame. <laughs> I, I don't know where the good flame is. <laughs> Dong. <laughs> <laughs> Who could be the loudest? So, so we've got the cleric and gutter down at the bottom of the stairs. Uh, sure. Um, you guys are surprised. Uh, what? What? <laughs> okay. So with advantage, uh, that's going to be a seventeen to hit you, Mr. Cleric. Yeah. With what? Uh, two seven points of position damage as an arrow from the other battlements uh, as you can see skeletal archers uh, drawn by the sound of coughing and a gong. <laughs> <laughs> Shit. I ran out of miniatures, so we have this. <laughs> Three skeleton archers it's and a awful, cool... It's awful from a row is. Um, <laughs> but yeah, he's there. Uh, yeah, an arrow kind of thuds out. Uh, I'm going to make attacks for all of them, not against just you. Uh, gutter, that's an 18 to hit. Yeah, that's a hit. Uh, that's going to be six points of position damage. <laughs> that's a natural one to hit you with a, a second one. And then Gutter, that's going to be a 11. Uh, that's a hit. Uh, have you got your shield equipped? I, I don't feel like I would. I'm sat down cutting my toenails. That's going to be four points. So that's 11 in total. I think so. I'm dead. <laughs> <laughs> this is Dark Souls, my guy. Um, yeah, where well, you find yourself spawning. So in the room that you're tearing down can the I, tapestry. You you can, I, can I search the pots that didn't end up getting searched now? I respawn. Yeah, but... so uh, he's in a corridor just outside that room. <laughs> I mean, I'm, I'll walk we're... back in with the tapestry. Like, <laughs> there you go. Just, <laughs> just assume I'm going to be dead sometime soon. I will, to... I will say this. When you search Ooh. the pots, uh, you do find find, hidden amongst the broken shards of pot, uh, there is a faint, like, you kind of find, like, this very gentle kind of glowing ember is hidden amongst all the shadows, uh, and it is the soul of a desecrated corpse. Oh. Ooh, uh, and nice. if you were to desecrated. use it, it is worth 200 XP. But you can choose oh. it. Oh. Back to normal. <laughs> so I'll... Net. But you do lose your 175 yeah. when you died. So. Um, oh, also I roll a roll, d20. I rolled a two. Oh, a two. <laughs> oh. Wait, did you say two was a good one? I don't know. I don't, no, one is sword. really bad. One is mega bad. Probably. You probably have died with sword. it on. Uh, yeah. 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 Right. Your flesh withers. Your skin tightens on your bones, mummifying even as you watch. Lose two from your charisma permanently. So this is the thing that you asked about. This is Wait, the, the permanently. Yeah. Yeah. 
Uh, so your charisma is two lower, so that's a minus. Uh, you get a minus one to anything. You dehydrated. So yeah, uh, down to eleven charisma. Down to eleven. I mean, Still you know, more charismatic than uh, some people. Most people. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. I'm, absolutely. I'm going to take my swords back from him now. Okay. <laughs> whilst, whilst you do that, let's roll some initiative. I mean, yeah, I guess I'm in combat, right? Uh, oh, okay. Oh. Fourteen. Uh, Wait, I'm these not in this combat. Are... No, I died. Aren't you unprepared as well? You had like minus to your initiative from the last time. Yeah, you minus died. one to the initiative. I mean, roll initiative anyway because you just died, but you're in the same room with these. Um, guys, so I'm assuming you'll jump back in. Like, do all of these? Cool. Well, I still get debuff stacks. twenty for initiative. Yeah, all these debuffs. Yeah, all the stacks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah absolutely. Oh god. Okay. Uh, so twenty for initiative. Yes. You are fast. That means you're going before the monsters. Uh, Fourteen. Fourteen. You are also going before the monsters, uh, Lord Wakefield. Uh, what about Sir Jolly? Initiative. H. You are slow. You're going after the monsters. And then Dex build. Eight. Hey, you are all. You are last as well. Dex build. Cool. So you are after the monsters. So the the two people who okay. aren't anywhere near, or who are in the chamber, another chamber. Uh, you two get to decide who goes. You get to pick the order of it. Um, but yeah, you hear, well, you saw an arrow, two arrows fly out Just and murder an arrow you. hit me, surprise, <laughs> look up, second arrow. <laughs> Dead. Um, Just for... So you guys are like here -ish. Yeah, so, so the... Like, we the went room you started corner, in, yeah, yeah, so the room you started in, in is here. Yeah. The room that you went around the corner yeah. is above this keep area. So imagine okay. that these are stairs like leading up. So the corridor kind of leads round there. You guys are in the starting room here. I didn't put it on the map. Just I think you yet. were like, but yeah, you're literally you were like just a few. So, so yeah, yeah, yeah. guy was in a room above the main keep, pretty yes. centrally, and there yes, was another yeah. block. There was a door. tower there. Yeah. There. Okay. Yep, yep, yep. yep. My lord, I got shot. I think we can flank them then. <laughs> what do you? What have you got in mind? Follow me and just start running. So towards the room with uh, Gary the... with Grion, the, the <laughs> creepy guy. Yeah. Just I will fall. Okay, fall yeah, if you guys it. dash there, you get to yeah. the room with him. He's just like, oh, here again, I kind of thing. Right, mate. Um, uh, <laughs> he opens just... the door, he starts opening the door for you next, yeah. and you can do that. All right, the monsters, they only have one target now. Um, yeah. Oh. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I've got uh, three position left. Oh, what's your AC? Uh, 13. All right, nine or higher. 18. Uh, <laughs> uh, that's five points of position. I'm dead. <laughs> you die. <laughs> God. All right, uh, 11. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> So very much like the game as well, like the adventures are built around like if you just run into stuff blind, you're probably going yeah. like, to like death. If, if I survived that round, I was going to be like zigzag dodge rolling across the court. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> what, um, what was your roll? Uh, 11. 11. Uh, dismal. Any joy or laughter <laughs> you use to retain is entirely gone. Reduce your starting charisma score by minus one. Minus oh, one. All right. Charisma. It's so jolly before. <laughs> so jolly. <laughs> <That's a big laughs> guy. I don't um, laugh at the end of my sentences. I'm not no, a dark. <laughs> <laughs> oh. you, no, you sigh. That's another. Oh, yeah. oh. <laughs> you miserable um, soul. They don't have another target because Sir Jolly's still up in the corridor. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, so yeah. these archers are just like. Just, yeah, just de aggro and just go back to pacing. I think at this point, yeah, we will basically have them de aggro and like, you guys are <laughs> yeah, out of initiative. But I'll, we'll, we'll just re roll when you get into it. I either that or they just take the shortest route to us to get oh, yeah. yeah, I mean, they, yeah. they definitely don't seem to be following. Like, yeah. they, they remain up there. But we'll leave them up there so you guys know. Um, all right. I just love that so Jolly just took one look out of this, was like, oh, I'm about to go through, you know. This <laughs> 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 Everyone dies. You were even warned about the archers. Yeah. Yeah. You, were, you were specifically then, warned about the archers. Wakefield and Gutter just go running past. Like, do you say anything to me, or am I just like stood there like? Oh yeah. <laughs> Come with us. Okay. okay. Bring that shield. It might be useful. Okay. Okay. In which case, I will sure. go. Just as they're running, I'll just be walking behind them, just like yeah. 
Sure. He um, just shrugged to Greel and he's just, like, what's going on? Just like, just, it's me, me again. <laughs> All right. Two of us are just... <laughs> so you guys, whilst, whilst Greel is kind of unbarricading the door, do you want to catch up and join up with them? <laughs> yeah. Well, I'll just have you guys all join up. I like come out of my loading screen and no one is around. <laughs> <laughs> Shit. Uh, Greon removes his barricades on the opposite door uh, and opening it, uh, it leads to a section of the castle walls that have long been broken, but someone has built two ramshackle bridges to cross the rubble and fallen stone instead. And on the other side of these two ramshackle bridges, you can see a tower, what looks to be like a guard tower on the corner of the castle walls. Uh, does it look like connecting to that tower would connect up to where the yes, archers are? Yes, yes. Almost, you can see, in fact, from this doorway, um, we'll say that the archers are currently looking at where you guys were, so they don't spot you kind of like looking out. But yeah, if you cross these ramshackle bridges, if you make too much noise, those archers are going to know where you are and they're going to be able to shoot upon you from here. I'll swap so it's like an shoot. open space between the, the, the space, and then you have a guard tower that joins up to that battlement wall. Mm. Okay. And I'll like, swap to one sword and a shield right Okay. Here. How far away are they? Are we, can uh, we... They are within bow range, so like, you know, 70, 80 feet. Oh, away. okay, so not like get there in one turn. Sort of no, thing. no, you would have to cross these ramshackle yeah, bridges, yeah. keeping in mind, like, these are not very safe looking bridges. This is <laughs> okay. like, you know, you're going to have to either go carefully or, you know, jump or whatever it is going to be. Um, and then there is a tower. The doorway is open. It looks like there was once a door on the other on this tower, but it's long since been broken down. Um, and it leads into a dark, you can't really see inside, guard tower with like arrow slits and stuff. Um, cool. Spring. <laughs> <All right. laughs> I'll go for it. Um, don't forget to refill your HP and Estus flasks for those yeah. of you who died as well. Yeah, don't worry, I went from full health to Zero. no health. So I didn't, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Even correct, didn't even get it, yeah. Uh, yeah, I, man, run, kind of low. Okay, um, so as soon as you, as soon as Gutter steps out, I need you to make an acrobatics skill check. So if you don't have a bonus, it's just dexterity. Cool. So this is across uh, the first one. It's a seven. Uh, I was going to say, if you're running as well, that would be a disadvantage, so you would roll twice, take the lowest. Mm. Ooh, it's a six. It's a six. So, the first time you fail, so Gutter, you go to run out, and immediately one of the boards breaks, you fall face, you fall prone, uh, you hear the skeletons hear the snap of wood <laughs> and look that way. It's not. In it. But, to, basically, to continue, you would need to make another acrobatics check to stand up from prone and continue on. Yeah. Um, if you fail this one, you're probably going to fall. It's fine. It's fine. Uh, ooh, it's a 13. Uh, uh, a uh, 15. 15. Yeah, so you managed to kind of like pick yourself up, keep in balance, not falling off. Um, but there is one more bridge to go, and that's also going to be initiative because these skeletons yeah. are now very aware of where you are. Nice. I think I'm going first. Oops. Uh, seven. All right. So we have Gutter is slow, so you're going oh, after the monsters. Initiative. Uh, that is a 20. When Wakefield is fast, Ooh. he's going f before the monsters. Jolly. 18. Also going before the monsters. Uh, and then you 16. 16, also yeah. before the monsters. Uh -oh. <laughs> uh, so the three of you, watching from inside uh, Grion's <laughs> kind of like secured room, you watch Gutter run out, immediately trip, slam onto the ladder, <laughs> make a loud noise. He does manage to kind of like pick himself up and he's now balancing on this thing. But you see the archers like... <laughs> <laughs> and they start pulling their bows back. Yeah, <laughs> all right. I mean, I, I, we're all like going to be sprinting across this thing, right? If you run, Probably. it's disadvantage on the acrobatics. If you take your time and just move normally, then uh, it's. Uh, I'm going to take my time and move normally. You do have a minus one. But I'd also like to um, spend two position to increase my AC by plus four for one round. Okay, yeah. So I kind of imagine using my shield to kind of very slowly and methodically just walk yeah, out. All right. Well, give me an acrobatics check then. Um, remember, you have a minus one to this because you're a knight's armor. 15, 16, 17. Well, I've got plus two on the decks, but then so plus 17 two. minus one is uh, 16. 16 is enough. So you're you make your way over the first one. You kind of move over gutter or like around gutter. And you make your way to the midpoint. So you and gutter are now at the midpoint of these two broken bridges. Can I help gutter up? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, I mean, he's already getting up <laughs> Thank anyway. You, but brave, like, brave knight. But you're kind of holding your shield out in front of you, and you currently have plus four AC, right? Yeah. Until the for the whole turn. Yeah, All right. So All right. So wait field and uh, dex build. Uh, is this a dex save or a dex check? This is an acrobatic, so it's a dex check. Okay. Okay. Damn. Uh, I'm still going to sprint across this. Bridge. All right. Disadvantage. Um. So that's sixteen. Blah, 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 blah. Sixteen. Eighteen. 
and a 18. 18, yeah. I mean, yeah. you sprint, and with the sprint, you can get across both bridges, right? That's yeah. the point of running fast. Yeah. You dash over, uh, kind of leaping over the night. You kind of like parkour in a cool way. Parkour. Sliding down like Legolas in I'll the two, two towers. Over, over Gar's back as he's getting up to nice. his <laughs> nice. yeah. Uh, yeah. And yeah, you arrive <laughs> on the other side into what appears to be a kind of barracks. Uh, this tower used to house the soldiers and knights stationed at the oh, castle. No. <laughs> um, there is a, uh, you go through the broken door, there are a couple of beds, a wooden chest, a wooden set of stairs leading down, and then another open archway leading out onto the battlements. Uh, you now also, from this presence, you hear the sound of heavily armoured footsteps below you. Um, oh, uh, I just need to maybe get another monster. Is there like stairs in this room as if something's about to come up the stairs? You, that's certainly the impression you're getting, yes. So they go, oh, I just saw the picture. Oh. I shouldn't have done that. <laughs> <laughs> yes, you did. Yeah, I did. Um, yeah. So uh, that was your that's your movement to kind of dash across. Do you want to take an action? Um, can I like push a bed onto try the to stairs to try to barricade the sure, stairs? Sure, 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 sure. Make a strength check for me. I'm not great at that. Uh, 14. I mean, you can spend position if you'd like to increase ability scores. I will spend two positions 16? to make it 16. Just enough. Oh. So you manage to like grab one of these wooden beds and you kind of push and shove it, manage to get it over to the side and it does tumble down. And you glimpse down as you do so to see a very polished silver helm of an armored mm. figure like beginning to make their way up the stairs, drawing a blade and a shield. What um, color is the armor? Silver. Okay. <laughs> yeah. yeah. The Dark Souls wait. boys are like. He doesn't have like a fucking great bow or anything, does he? Has one on his back. Yeah. Oh. Uh, <laughs> he's got a sword, sword and shield out, but on his back has a giant yeah. two great bow. Giant. Okay. Uh, can I just as an interaction just go back to? Two-handed swords. You, you can yeah, yeah. put your sh if you want to put I, your shield away and draw I two put swords. Away my okay. shield. I mean, yeah. the archers can't see me in here, can they? No. Well, there is open way. They could, in theory, like move into this room, but they would have to use melee weapons yeah, yeah, yeah. to fight. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yep. I'd do that. Yeah. Your bigger threat is that thing coming up the stairs. Yeah. All right. <laughs> next build. Uh, if I play it safe, can I get to the archers? On the next turn, with just a regular move, or do I have to like? No. You. So regular move will get you halfway. Next regular move gets you, or like another move gets you the next way. I've got like no so it's I've got no souls, so like I'm just gonna sprint. Yeah, check my <laughs> confidence. Uh, sure. So acrobatic check with disadvantage. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, uh, you five. step out on that first ramshackle bridge. The same thing, right? Like you lose your balance, you fall prone. Yeah. Uh, well, what, what's your foot? Uh, my dog's a blank out. Through uh, the same. <laughs> <thing. Yeah. laughs> um, so you can so you can now spend your action to try and get up and make another acrobatics check to get up the yeah. prone. Yeah. Because otherwise, I mean, all attacks against you have advantage. So. Yeah. Uh, Fourteen. Is that with disadvantage again or? Uh, no. It's all right. Just normal. Fifteen. Then. Fifteen. Yeah. You managed to kind of pick yourself up, not falling off. Because if you would, you would fall. 20, no, 30, like 20 ish, 25 feet down into the courtyard, um, and you would take falling damage if you did. Uh, but you managed to pick yourself up. You So, the three of you, so we have Dex Build, Sir Jolly, and Gutter, all on like a middle platform, like a big Behind piece of broken A stick. mega shield. Well, yeah. They it's can, my shield. It's definitely some cover, but it's yeah. It's huge, though. It's pretty big. Um, and then we have <laughs> Lord Wakefield in the <laughs> barracks tower. Do you want to just move yourself across into like that little yes. gap so we know where you are? So, what am I like, over uh, here? Like in that corner. In that oh, this corner? Yeah, imagine that there's a room there. Okay, okay. Okay. Uh, the monsters get to go. Um, we'll do the archers first, uh, because that's a lot easier for me to worry about. Uh, three, uh, four ranged attacks. Um, I will have most of them go into Sir Jolly. Um, and yeah, we'll just do it that way. Because at the moment, like, you're presenting, you're kind of covering the others and stuff like that. So. You need a 22 to hit. 22. Oh. Uh, that's going to miss. Uh, that is going to be a 23 to hit. Oh. Oh. So five points of damage as one arrow does slip through. Um, the next one is a miss, and the next one is just barely going to miss at 21. Ooh. So your shield defense managing to kind of like cover the other two as this hail of arrows comes flying in. But now that they see, okay, it's probably better we try and shoot at the other two. Like their first volley is directed at you, but the next volley won't be. Um, meanwhile, <laughs> Lord Wakefield, 
Mm-hmm. This armored figure makes their way up the steps, and they're just going to try and barrel their way through uh, this uh, this the barricade that you have constructed. I so. don't know. They can just roll through furniture. Yeah, mm. yeah. Didn't think about that. <laughs> it's one of cool, but it's one of those ones you can't roll into. Okay. I'm hoping. It feels so bad when you get the enemies who can drink Estus flasks oh, and do God. the same things. Yeah. Jesus, Jesus like- Christ! Their damage. Um, okay. Uh, so he's just going to try and cleave through the bed, basically. It's going to try, try and smash through it. Uh, so that's going to be a hit. I mean, the bed crumbled the moment it hit. Well, you. <laughs> Still rolling. Have we, how many? Four, <laughs> five. Oh, my God. <laughs> 66. 66 plus something. He rolled a bunch of fives and sixes as well. Yeah. Uh, in one blow, this sword comes smashing I mean, yeah. down and splits the bed in two, and then it just stomps through the rest of it, drawing up <laughs> next to you, Sir Wakefield. Uh, so he must just do speed. Uh, he, has, he has two attacks, so he will make a, uh, his second attack against you. <laughs> uh, for a uh, 18 to hit. That hits. Two, Two, five, five, six, six, seven, nine. eight, nine. I'm dead. <laughs> 13, 16 points of damage. I'm dead. Uh, as he kind of poosh, and just impales you on his sword. <laughs> and that was super low rolls as well. Yeah, Wait, that was, was he two handing that or one handing it? That was one handing. What was his max damage there? 66. Thirty-six. 36 yes. Oh no, no, but wait, what, what, what did he? What did he actually roll? Uh, Sixteen. Sixteen. Okay, yeah. Even if I was full health, I was dead. Yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah. I would have yeah. died. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Oh, so do we? Can we see this through the open doorway? We just see a sword, yeah. and then you just him falls stood backwards. there. A sword <laughs> go through well, him. Well, yeah, the, the bad news for you guys is you see this silver knight figure stepping up to the doorway, like, and, and is beginning to put away their sword and pull out oh, a giant bow. Okay, oh, no. fuck. We've got to go. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, well, that is their turn. Gutter, it's your turn. <laughs> You're the only one on after the monsters. So we're on, like, a, a more solid platform. Yeah, like a stone platform in between these two ramshackle bridges. Okay. So imagine, like, some of the wall has crumbled away, but some of it has remained enough to right. stay enough um, to stand on. You guys, Jump. save yourselves! Back, um, back oh god, it literally is him. <laughs> oh my god, it's actually a silver knight. Oh. Um, Big boy. I want to I wanna kind of like run onto this platform, mm-hmm. uh, the next bit of the bridge, and with my club and sword, try and like smash it. Okay, Destroy so Destroy like, the, yeah, like make it so it, the super yeah. ramshackle thing. Whilst you're on it. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> like, like I am jumping and I mean, like doing as you, much you as I can do to it. physically break it. I don't, you don't even just roll. You do it, you're gonna fall. Yeah. Like, no, that's but the that's, cost, right? That's... Is, is he on the bridge as well? No, he stood oh. at the doorway, but like he could easily just step out onto it and start fighting, but he's pulled his bow out. Um, but yeah, you watch as Gutter like jumps up and down, smashes his club and his, his broken sword. The bridge collapses. You're gonna fall uh, down into the courtyard, taking... Oh, only three points of damage. Um, and then you land into the courtyard at the bottom of sort of like, yeah, put yourself Oof. in this corner, yeah, prone. Um, and yeah, you just slide down the rubble, slam down into the courtyard. Um, but yeah, anything Ow. else? Uh, you got some movement left if you would like. You got like, you could try and stand up or you could crawl or... Yeah, I guess like, um, can I try and now make myself a bit more... There is actually a doorway in front of you, uh, actually. I know this is splitting the party considerably, but there is a wooden door from this courtyard leading into where the skeletons are on the battlements. There must be like a corridor or a room underneath it. Okay. There's a wooden door in there. Well, I guess with club and sword, just kick that door open <laughs> and... Step in. <laughs> yeah. Just step inside. Yeah. You. Uh, so what you find in there is do, 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 do. Uh, the hallway uh, seems to stretch. It seems to connect the lower room of the tower where that knight was in um, and the, the lower part of the gate tower uh, that you were trying to get to. Okay. Um, it's like a long corridor that stretches between them. Uh, it retains some of its former glory. Three grand archways built into the corridor, each carved with effigies of knights holding aloft a banner with a heron holding a torch and different numbers of swords on each archway. Uh, the eastern arch has two swords, the center has four swords, and the western arch has three swords. There are metal sconces bolted into the walls with thick iron plates, but the torches are long since spent. Oh. 
little flavour for you. Mm. Um, but yeah, so uh, the, we now go back to the top of the round, which is the rest of the players before the monsters go. I'm what dead. You, you're dead. You're you dead, respawn yeah. at the bonfire. Uh, for this purposes, rounds, we're just going to keep you oh, well. here until yeah. this combat is finished. That's basically. fine. Yeah. I got uh, an eleven. Oh, you got yes, do. which I believe is the. Uh, I think you had an eleven, didn't you? Uh, fourteen. I have fourteen. I, I think there was an eleven before. 11. Yeah. Was that the one that was like nothing or was you're that shriveled. 14? What do you oh, say you're probably. shriveled? You're a wrinkly boy. Wrinkly boy. Eleven. Dismal. Yeah. Oh, uh, oh, any joy or laughter <laughs> is gone. Oh. Reduce oh. your charisma oh. by Rich minus laugh. one. <laughs> yeah. Okay, I'm a sigh boy now. I, <laughs> I just sigh. So <laughs> jolly. And uh, dex build. The two of you stare. I'm going to start making that noise. Beep. Beep. Beep, and up. just back the fuck up. Make an acrobatics check. You've got to get over this ramshackle bridge. Oh, that'll be a uh, six. Six, you fall prone. Uh, you land on that. You are still on the bridge, but you are prone. Uh, you can use your action to stand up. It's another acrobatics check. I will. Try and stand up. It's cocked. That's cocked. But uh, it's close to a one, but that was cocked. That's cocked. <laughs> That's an 11. You fall. Uh, 12 is what you needed. You fall. So you're going to take some. You're going to land next to Gutter. That's 10 positions. Oh, um, wait, are you dead? I'm dead. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> I'll get the table. Can I, can I have it so that I, I trip as I back up? Like maybe over, over a um, yeah, yeah, yeah. I trip. <laughs> Fall backwards and land on my sword. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> when you get the, what is it, when you fall up and dodge, it's just like, ah! Yeah. yeah. Well, you look like you're about to step in the same hole we just fell into, so I push you. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just, I'm just like sat at the bonfire, like one, one knee up with my hand on my knee because I know what's coming. Nice. <laughs> well. Atrophy, your muscles start to fail you. You reduce your strength by oh. one. Oh, no. oh that's my most beautiful. You said there were bonuses in here, Mark. <laughs> there, are bon there are bonuses, you just haven't got any. Yeah. Um, All right, well, on minor turn. Uh, <laughs> you, wanna, you wanna come down as well? I mean, I've got, I've got a plan. Okay. Can I get, if I was, is this bridge, this now broken bridge, jumpable? Yeah, it's still jumpable, yeah. And with that jump, would I be able to slink behind, dodge roll behind this silver knight? You can try. I'm going to try. Okay. I want to oh, try and jump oh, the bridge. Do a kick. <laughs> well, <laughs> that's not it, but... Sure. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so this is athletics or strength. Um, uh, so if you don't have an athletics bonus, just use your strength modifier. Seven. That's oh, wait, enough. no. I'll... Uh, Wait, oh, you can spend enough. position. I'm, I'm definitely boosting this. Okay. Did, I couldn't, didn't hear what you said. Did you say it was enough? I said it was not enough. Good. In that case, I'm going to boost it by... You can go pretty high on this. Six. So that would give you a total of seven, 13. 13. <laughs> I would say 13 is just enough to jump this gap. It's not too far. You have like a little bit of a running start. There is like a lip. Um, but you're probably like on the very edge, and this knight is right in front of you <laughs> with a bow, and it kind of looks at you. I and its steely gaze turns to dodge you. Dodge rolling, dodge rolling, dodge rolling, so dodge rolling. And behind it, it. yeah. I want to no, use no attack of opportunity so far. I want to use force. Oh, oh, oh nice. nice. So he makes a dex save okay. of 11. I imagine his dex is super high, but if he fails, he still gets pushed 10 feet. His dex is not very high. That's a 10. Uh, ooh. Um, so that's oh, a fail. Great, yeah, it's a fail. So he gets pushed back 10 feet in a straight line and is prone. Yeah, and that would probably put him, like, yeah, on the, in the hole. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> but, I mean, full damage, at least, I mean, in the game, five, does a lot of damage. He's five points of position. I thought it would do more. <laughs> but he is prone. He is uh, yeah, prone. Gutter, you hear a... <laughs> you look behind you and this knight is laying down. Um, okay. You, the door, uh, the wooden door behind you, it does look like there is like a crossbar or something that you could try and bar it. Wait, didn't you destroy the door to get in here? Well, no, you just kicked the door in. Yeah. Nice. Well, okay. Well, that's, uh, so you done? Uh, yeah, that's me. That's movement in action. Oh, right. Okay. Um, so we go to the monsters. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> the Silver Knight is going to stand up. <laughs> this has been a yep. this has been a hot mess. <laughs> I think it's definitely proving that like 
you need to be quite careful yeah. and tactical yeah. and everything else. The, uh, the, 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 the Silver Knight is going to stand up, uh, turns, sees Gutter there, uh, and is going to try a piercing strike. I spend three position. The Silver Knight doubles its to hit bonus <laughs> on a single weapon attack. Double its bonus. Let's yep. go, Gutter. Let's go. <laughs> so that's going to be 16 to hit. Yeah, that's, uh, that's a hit. You're dead. <laughs> one, one, three. I only have seven life. Six. So you have, if you roll more than seven, a one seven. on any one of these, I die. Twelve. Nine. Uh, Sixteen. Sixteen plus three. Uh, you're dead. Yeah, I die. <laughs> I'll just uh, come over here. Yeah. And the night. You're right, guys. The night then continues its move. It's only got half a and It steps into where you were and then turns into the bottom half of the tower it was in. There's like a doorway leading in there. Oh, so I can hear it like down the stairs again. <laughs> you can hear it down the stairs. <laughs> I got a 15. 15. <laughs> <laughs> Matt knowledge, Tom. Come on, you must know. Uh, yeah, I mean, uh, I didn't see the door. Like, Well, yeah, you didn't go down there. Why would you know? Um, traps. Don't need to worry about those. Madness, poison. I'm kind of. <laughs> it comes up. I roll so behind What do we, we get on the 15? 15. Murmur, you have returned, but something is lodged in your mind from beyond. A voice is in your head now, whispering strange thoughts. Ooh. Oh, good, another one. <laughs> Where's the I'm good ones? Um, uh, 16 is a good one. Nearly got a good one. Uh, All right. Well, see. I'll, I'll, we'll see when I... I've Ooh, got, like, four's really good. Oh, yeah? Yeah. I've got like a turn until I have to roll again. Anyway, well, so. no, you don't have a full turn because those oh, yeah. four skeletal archers oh, yeah. uh, pull out scimitars <laughs> and come running <laughs> back to the <laughs> There's four uh, archers there, guys. Oh my God. Yeah, and they, they see that there's no more threats in front of them, but they do hear that something has like jumped into a the lot tower. Of clanging around over there. <laughs> four skeletons run in uh, and they're going to make attacks against you. Yeah. Uh, six, that's a miss. Great. Six is a miss. Hell yeah. Uh, 14. That hits. Six Son of a bitch. <laughs> I'm dead. Is that a white? It's uh, a white. It's a white. white. It's a white. Woo! It's a white. Roll back. Oh. Uh, and I rolled 13. That can't be good. I don't think so. No. Oh. I think I should bookmark Yeah, do you want to bookmark for that page? Because <laughs> yeah, we are dying. You ripped me off a piece a of paper. <laughs> 13. It's getting dark. The world is darker than it was. Reduce your passive perception by one. Oh, son of a... Okay. Oh, my God. <laughs> cool. Well, um, we return to the bonfire. Could you read the beginning of the adventure again? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, again. Uh, none of you have any souls. You do have an item that has some souls. I do. Um, yeah. And it was too right, well, no, it. Sorry, it was not a great plan. Um, it's okay. But here, know. have this. I pull it from the front of my... Loins a little flame. It's for you, my lord. I'll just crush it in my hand. <laughs> no, you don't have to use it immediately. You save it <laughs> until you're at the bonfire. Yeah, everybody, gets, everybody gets 200 XP. Everybody <laughs> has. Does. Everyone, yeah, it's oh, shit. Oh, okay. everyone does. Oh. It's shed. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. I think it was. Uh, I emailed Steamforge about it and they said you can either do it as shared or you could just do it per player. It's up to the GM. Well, I'm going to be nice. cool. Yeah. <laughs> I think crush it in my hand instantly. Yeah. Yeah. Love it. So, so wait. In terms of like the map that we know now, we know that in the courtyard, bad. The courtyard Silver bad. Knight is. I mean, he's back where he was. He's There's back. He has crossbows. reset his position. Yeah. <laughs> so you know that there are four skeletons on the battlements. Uh, the Silver Knight is in the tower oh, opposite the Ramshackle Bridge. There's stairs, down. Down. There's oh, stairs leading up, though. Like so exactly he can, where we left in position to either one of those. We know there's a door that goes straight to him. In the big corridor area. Mm -hmm. But, so the safest place so far is back So the other thing you saw is the... underneath where the arches were, there was a wooden staircase that kind of goes up halfway through the battlements and then turns into the upper floor of the, the gate house. There's a door that leads into that. We just section. need to not aggro the skeletons or the night, night. Night. Yeah. Or you could kill the skeletons if you had ranged weapons. Uh, no. <laughs> no. <laughs> where else so. is the door in the, to the upper gatehouse? Uh, so there is a door, so there's the, well this is one gatehouse and there's another gatehouse here. The upper floor has a door connecting to these like wooden stairs. Okay. Uh, but the downstairs door seems to be blocked by rubble. Um, the other side, the other gate tower, there is a door immediately from the stairs. Uh, that leads into the, the downstairs gatehouse. Sounds I mean, as long as we don't go out there roaring and donging bells. Yes, you definitely think that the, the, the distance Guys, it was the, the sound that drew the skeleton. <laughs> I think you're uh, donging your bell. Uh, I ding, I don't. Yeah. There is also, yeah, I mean, yeah, and then, uh, yeah, that's it, that's the map. What if we just quietly walk under the next 
Tell her. I pray silence may be the best approach. I would love some silence, yes. Or we be could nice. kill our friend and take his trinkets. Which Got friend? Him. Well, he did say that um, he wasn't as tough as us. So that's why he's sending us on this mission. So but I if guess. He, if he has all these trinkets on him, I guess we could do it. But really? he's managed to stay safe while all of those things were out there. But by barricading the doors. <gasps> all right, what about this? We give him a shove through the door, then that big archer fella, he does the, he does the work for us. <laughs> oh, I like it. Or it draws <sighs> the big archer fella towards us. Well, he won't be able this to is the first the time you've all died, isn't it? Yes. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. What? What, what? what no, happened? Sorry. Nothing. That's... You don't know, you're all in the bonfire room. Uh, okay. <clears throat> oh, shit. Wait, has like, the guys in the hallway come back? Yeah. Ah, <laughs> uh, okay. But you've unlocked the door, you don't have to go, they were around the corner. You could just go down into the courtyard now. <laughs> Let's go down into the courtyard. <laughs> I mean, we could, I guess we could have a look, right? Like, we could just sneak a look if we stealth it, I suppose. Cool, I run full pelt around the corner, <laughs> um, and then three seconds later, respawn <laughs> back here. Ooh, I win, yeah. I win. Oh, <laughs> cross my soul soul. <laughs> yeah, so uh, those rats that we killed earlier, um, they seem to be back, everybody. I do not recommend uh, going back down there. Roll your d20 again. <laughs> right, right, yeah. <laughs> Uh, 19 again, yeah. so I lose... <laughs> another initiative. Another oh initiative. Oh my god, <laughs> sense is dull even more. <laughs> <Just adapted>. Okay. <laughs> your, your, your ear appears to be hanging off. Oh, just, just, I'll just pull yeah. it off. Yeah. <laughs> Stick it into my body. Like a bit of loincloth. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Everybody follow me, we must make for the gatehouse. I'm going to Stealthy. quietly walk behind him. Okay. Quietly now. So you're going to stealth down to this gatehouse, the yeah. one that's closest? I mean, yeah, down the stairs, like, if I sure. see those dudes look at me and... As, you don't need to make stealth, as long as you're not making loud sounds, like ringing bells or coughing loudly, <laughs> yeah. the skeletons, until you get out into, like, the main courtyard, if you just come here, they won't notice you. I do stop at one point, and mm -hmm. uh, everything's looking so miserable. I sigh. Do I make a <sighs> sigh check? See no. how loud it is? No. You're I'll fine. get to the door. Okay, uh, yeah, this uh, the, is a wooden door that leads into the lower half. Of, this looks like it's beneath the room that you began in. Like the bonfire room looks like it's above oh, this. Okay. Uh, no, sorry, the room that was north of the bonfire room. So, you know, there was that doorway right, you can yeah. go through. It looks like it connects to that. But this is just a simple <coughs> wooden door. Uh, yeah, you can try and I don't know. Might be locked, you don't know? I'll, yeah, I'll give it a go. It opens. Great. Uh, inside, this stone room contains scattered barrels, crates, as well as a weapon rack and a wooden chest. I roll into the barrel. Oh. <laughs> yeah, we're all just. <laughs> <laughs> you I'm just stood there like. <laughs> yeah. What? 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 Uh, is well... there a rule book? Is there, is there some rule to this oh. hand that I don't under? I'm not getting here. Did I miss a memo? Um. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. Gutter looks like he's having a stroke. <laughs> so what? You smash apart the barrels and crates. Nothing but in those. There is a chest, chest. And, and, a, and a weapons rack. Can, well. I, can there I? is look also at the chain. Yeah, look at next the, okay. the chest. Uh, the there is also a big spoked wheel <laughs> with <laughs> chains that connect to a part of the wall. This looks like it's part oh, of the right. colors control system. You want to? Yeah. I mean, roll a investigation check. Nineteen. Nineteen. You look at it. There's something odd about that chain. Yeah. There's something. In, no, the chest. You said right. The, ch the yeah, chain. The, just, that's, just the, that's the yeah. telltale. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thing. No, yeah, it's the, fine. Yeah. The chain attached to the chest. Oh, yes. Yeah, yeah. yeah. The that's the right way, right? When it's not a mimic, it's attached to the chest. Well, it's like it's kind of curved. If it's fine, it trails it's off. If it's yeah, bad, it's yeah. curved. Yeah. Then. Yeah. Why are we it's all looking at the? The chat, why are we all looking at, why are we not opening, why? I don't, I don't know, the voices in my head told me. <laughs> right. Yeah, the voices in your uh, head. Check, check the chain. <laughs> You've got the voices on the meta voices. Yeah, yeah exactly. The meta You've voices. got seating gamers in your mind. I yeah, yeah, yeah. I pull it's a, chat. a soap that's what it is. Yeah. <laughs> I pull an orange bar of soap and I write treasure ahead. <laughs> nice. What, it, what is the, the soap? <laughs> like, what, <laughs> For where the travellers to find our path. What travellers? Uh, I'd like to open the chest, please. <laughs> yeah, you open the chest. I say out loud. Uh, did I put the treasure in the... Okay, you can open the chest. Yes. Thank you. You open the chest, and inside is 
a shield. Ooh. You open the chest and you receive a shield. <laughs> Come on, baby. Cross crest. Cross crest, give me the cross crest. Come on. <laughs> no, he's a cleric. He wants the. I don't the, want it, but like. He wants the casting shield. Oh. The, the well, miracle. Oh, the one boy. with the. Pew. Yeah. That's a good shield to give you. Cross crest. Well, grass quest is. I, yeah, I want that anyway. I don't want it for myself. It's just a great shield. That's good. I also kind of want to see how it works in this. Like, probably higher initiative, I right? I, I'm going to tell you something, Tom. Can't see a grass crest shield. What? Uh... <laughs> <laughs> what? What? So offended. How fucking dare you? Ring of uh... Clorency. Is that what it's called? Is that a fat Clorency ring? ring. Oh, grass crest shield. Let's have a look. There we go. Uh. You know what? Sure, it's a grass crest shield. Yeah. Ooh, Fuck yeah. The grass crest Amazing. shield. Amazing. Um, I forgot as well, by the way, some shields are only plus one AC, which is why I think your bonus says plus one uh, for shield. Oh. I think some shields are only plus one. This is a plus two AC shield. Uh, when using the grass crest shield, once per long rest, you may spend one position to restore plus one position to yourself or to a friendly creature. It's pretty good. Strength 13. Wait, hang on, plus one, wait. So you spend, you spend one position one. to restore plus one position to yourself or to a friendly creature. That is hot garbage. <laughs> so like you asked for the grass crest shield. Compared, compared to my wooden shield, yeah. which gives one position every turn. Yeah. But why would you But you could give it to somebody else. One position to heal yourself one. I don't know. Maybe maybe, maybe, maybe there might upgradable. be like, a, there might be abilities that like, you grant more position when you oh, heal. Oh wait, no, that's right. Yeah, yeah I, uh, I think I have something. If I heal someone, then I can Well, that would it. count. Yeah. Okay. Mm. Okay. Um, no. Nah. <laughs> Anybody? There is also a weapons rack which has um, what appears to be like long swords, like broad two-handed swords and stuff on it as well. Am I allowed to touch the weapons rack or do you need to all stare at it first? Yeah, I, yeah I'm going to have to stare and look, okay. look at the <laughs> weapons rack. Yeah, it's another investigation check. Um, I just examine stuff. Yeah, that's a 17. 17? There's something about this weapons rack. There's the voice, uh, the I voice think, is in your I head. Think there's something about this weapons rack. What do right. you think? Where it blends into the wall, where it's the studs should be embedded into the wall, they seem to almost blink. The studs. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I, yeah, fuck it, I'm gonna draw my weapons and start just attacking <laughs> the weapons rack. Well, you have advantage uh, because this is a surprise <laughs> attack, it's but. As you do, yeah, the weapons rack, the, the limbs of the weapons rack kind of stretch out, becoming these long, spindly hands. The the gap, the swords actually morph into like a face. Yeah, these big legs come out. And it is a mimic. Uh, but you get a surprise round. Oh, so, it, it uh, laughs like you. Go, go, it gets to go. Um, I told you I had an experience with mimics. <laughs> it was one in this room. Yeah, you can have that. I try. I try to fake you out by making it not the chest, but uh, voices are too man. smart. Yeah. Voices too smart. Um, Seventeen initiative. Oh yeah. Okay. Well, let's yeah do those yeah. and then uh, keep an idea of it. We'll get these. Yeah, um, oh, fifteen. Uh, fifteen is a hit. Oh uh, no, uh, that's a nineteen okay. on the hit. Okay, uh, 19. Well, nineteen definitely hits. Um, uh, sorry, me... I was rolling for initiative. No, that's all right. Uh, so the mimic is eleven. And that's four damage, and I'll attack with the sword. There you have advantage on this one as well, so Ooh, twice to take the highest. That's good. Uh, that will be 13. 13 is a hit. Oh, and um, that's three damage. So total was four. Uh, four plus three. Seven. Nice. All right, uh, so initiative wise, you got 15, did you say, Gutter? Yeah. yeah so yeah. Gutter is fast. Uh, Lord Wakefield. 17. Lord Wakefield is also fast, going before the monster. So Jolly. 13. That is also fast. Uh, 17, so yeah. All of you. Okay, so we know that all the players go first. So yeah, uh, as Gutter reaches in, this thing seems to come alive, some beast that you have awoken, but you're all quick on the initiative. You guys get to decide who takes turns. Can I just keep wailing? Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah go for it. No more advantage, because it is no longer surprised. Uh, well, that is a red hot miss. Uh, <laughs> and then the sword is 19. That is a hit. Uh, Five damage. Five points. Okay. Five so points. So Gutter kind of like slamming his blades and, and club into this thing. Uh, it does seem to react. Surrounding this thing. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It does. And this is a quite small room, so there's only barely enough room for you all to yeah. kind of get engaged. Yeah. Uh, who wants to go next? Asteb. Okay. okay. Yeah. Asteb. Uh, that is a 16 to hit. 16 will hit. 
Nine points of slashing damage. Another nine points of slashing damage. Yeah, big heavy nine. blow as the sword comes cutting through. <laughs> uh, sure, I'll two-handed mace it. Okay. Uh, 14. 14 hits. Oh, damn. All right. Uh, okay, you can spend position to do damage. Six plus one, so seven. Seven more points. Another heavy blow slams into this thing. <laughs> <laughs> All right, um, I'll I'll start swinging. Uh, that's twenty. Natural twenty? Uh -huh. No, just just. Oh, 20. yeah, it hits. Uh, okay, so that is uh, six damage. Six more points. Uh, I will do an offhand attack. I'm not gonna do okay. my fancy position thing. Uh, oh, it's a natural one. That's uh, gonna be a miss. Yeah. Uh, okay, so you swing it. You've all dealt like severe bites. It is still, uh, you know, functional. Right. Uh, it's still fighting, but it does look heavily injured, um, and it is bloodied. I will tell you this: it is Ooh. bloodied. Uh, it but it's going to turn its defense. attacks. It's going to do. Uh, I think it just gets uh -oh. one attack. Oh. Okay. oh. Yeah. Yeah, it just has one attack. It is going to uh, use its pseudopod, one of its long limbs. It's going to stretch out towards Gutter because you were the one that woke it up. Sure. Uh, and that is going to be a 14 to hit. Yeah, that's a hit. That is going to be uh, oh. 10 points oh, of position. <laughs> See ya! <you. laughs> <laughs> oh, <laughs> Go back up here. The deprived oh, is just God. so just bad. Got that bookmark. It's an 11. Oh, I'm sad as well now. <laughs> 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 it's just Christmas. All sad. All sad. Oh. Um, just so you've been taking two damage off every attack as well, because that's like. Uh. Really Knight's armor thing, I think, or like something, or is that a bloodied thing? I took no, I took a strength one. Yeah, that's right. No, but it's. I think one of your bloodied things is you take two less damage or something. Bloodied. Oh, okay, okay. Um, um, so right. yeah, this thing uh, slams Gutter, uh, whose body sticks to his hand, and he like goes to bite. It, his body just fades into action. You appear <laughs> bonfire. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and we jump back to everyone else. Gosh, I know. And I'll just start swinging. Sure. Yeah. That frenzy. Yeah. yeah uh, Nineteen. Nineteen hits. Uh, two damage. Two points of damage. I will spend. Uh, wait, no, four damage. Sorry, four. It's plus two slashing as well. Okay. Uh, I will spend. Uh, four points of position to do extra, extra damage. Extra four damage. Yep. Yeah. Okay, I mean, a heavy blow there dealt by uh, Lord Wakefield. Um, still uh, still barely alive. Offhand. Yeah. Oh, that's a two. <laughs> Near miss. Yep. So, Jolly or uh, Dex? I'll go in. <coughs> mm, it's um, 12 to hit. Just barely hits it. Uh, five, six, seven points of damage. Seven points of damage. Uh, it's going to bring us to 49. Still standing. Just barely. Two-handed mace. Uh, oh, god damn. Six, nine. All right, I'm going to spend three. That will hit it. That will hit it. I'm on one health. <laughs> oh. Uh, oh, my god. And uh, D8 plus one. Two. You've not got any position to spend, do you? No, I just spent it on boosting that. <laughs> yeah. I've got one health. <laughs> It still lives. I know. <laughs> this is there. Uh -oh. Uh, oh, and you and you do look injured. It would see that you are weak. It's going to go for Dex build. I'm dead. Sixteen to hit. Yeah, I'm dead. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> any, any way to boost your AC? Uh, I did, but on the mace attack. But it would cost two position to do that. So like, I would have just died doing that. Goodbye. See you. <laughs> Give us a roll. Give oh, us yeah. a roll. Shit. Come on. You two are going to get some nice XP though. Uh, 10? 10. Yeah. Forgotten. Some memory. Some fragile recollection of your past or current life has gone. Between you and the GM, decide what this memory is and what effect its loss has on you. The touch of my wife. <laughs> <laughs> nice. I it. What a cool <laughs> way. <laughs> Love it. Uh, yeah, and uh, what effect that has. I think that it's had uh, plenty of effects. I'm just more it's. miserable. Yeah, um, even more size. It kills yeah. you, uh, Sir Johnny and uh, Lord Wakefield. S swing at it. Yeah. Uh, that's a 14. 14 will hit. This okay. is such a zero tactics fight. It's just. Yeah. I'll hit it. Well, it's because you're level one as well. Yeah. You don't have anything. Six damage. Six points. Still alive. One hit point left. Uh, I will spend. Uh, three points of position to roll Attack again, again at disadvantage. Just yeah. swinging those twin blades like, 
Ah, please die. I bodied now, so I have plus one. <laughs> it's like that bit in the uh, game where you're like, bam. it's on like an inch of health, but you're nearly yeah, dead. Yeah, you're yeah, like, yeah. just give me one more hit. 20. 20 to hit, hits. Yep. It's, okay. it's dead, one hit point. I did one. <laughs> <laughs> you just managed to slice, cutting this thing as it falls into a pile. Uh, and you do see a two-handed sword does drop, kind of. Um, Can I touch that now? I think, uh, I think so. You two gain 450 <laughs> souls. Oh. Holy shit. That's a lot. Wait, hang on. We were alive when it died. Oh, that's true. You were alive when it dies. Yeah, you guys do gain it. Some souls. Oh, but you lost all of your other ones. But you were dead and you didn't have yeah, it. Yeah, I didn't have it. No, you had 200 because they yeah. used the item. Yeah, well, so we, we used have the 200 again. The we have died in exactly yeah. the same oh, place. Yeah, as every yeah. Time. yeah, that's generally, <laughs> that's generally <laughs> how it goes. Place. I feel that that's yeah, quite apt for you two as well, right. being legit souls players. Um, <laughs> all right. Uh, yeah. So, uh, what's the sword then? Uh, it is a, a flambeage. Sweet. Come and join. Yes, yeah, absolutely, yeah. you should. Um, so where are I guess sword? I'll sigh as I walk through there. <gasps> oh, oh, we're all sad now. Some oh, memory so lost. Good. The touch Not of my that wife. I know. Oh man, I love being able to remember the touch of my wife. <laughs> Can you remember yours? Do you have any good stories about that? <laughs> no, none. So this is a heavy two-handed flamberge, the wavy sword. Uh, she must have touched strength me Strength of at least 14 once. requirement. <laughs> Uh, it does a d12 in damage, Ooh. this is base damage, and it's special as you can spend two position to deal plus three damage on a successful attack. Oh my god. It's a two-handed blade. No, she touched me zero times. I prefer the later weapons, and I pass it to you. Yeah, I'll take it. You say later weapons? Well, anybody, like? later. anybody who's got strength of 14 can use it, so if you're happy with your sword and shield, the game. like... I've got strength 14. <laughs> so it's a, Yeah. Take it. I quite yeah. like my shield, so. I mean, this is probably going to do well. It's only one. It'll do attack. more than my one d four plus yeah. two club. Yeah, <laughs> it certainly will do more than. That. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, it's a two-handed one d twelve. Um, spend two position to deal plus three damage. Uh, I certainly wouldn't mind the shield. What do I need to? Uh, the shield, to I think, was shield. like. I don't have a shield at all, so. Oh, do you not? No, just my sacred mm. chime. Uh, and it was the grass shield, wasn't it? Grass crest, yeah. Grass crest shield. Uh, strength 13. Perfect. Plus two AC. Amazing. And you get that weird position, spend one to grant plus one to someone else or yourself. If I level up, that's super useful. Cool. Uh, but not right now. <laughs> not right now. So, uh, this, yeah, apart from this, you kind of clear this room out now, like there's nothing left apart from this great spoked wheel that seems to be connected to chains, uh, which you would all recognize is like a portcullis control, right? And normally there are two of them and they need to be pulled at the same time. At the same time. Oh, mm -hmm. so we've got one, but not so the other. I'm assuming the other one's over there. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but you saw that the actual doorway is covered in rubble, but there is a tower above it. There is like a room above it. Full of skelly bums. Mm -hmm. Or there was that corridor that you saw that led to a, a doorway that leads to the lower part. Full of the bad ones. Right. Through the, corridor, through the corridor with the archways. That was, you had to get across the corridor. If we walk quietly there, we might not aggro. Yeah. You could also just run. Like, you could just try That's running true. across the courtyard. I'm pretty sneaky, actually. <laughs> I reckon I could do a sneak. All right. I am going I'll to stay here and watch this. <laughs> <laughs> I'll, I'll see you up in that room in a minute. Yes. Um, All right. So, yeah. So, uh, Gutter wants to, like, basically, where you fell down, you could try and sneak across the courtyard. Yeah. Go like, in that doorway with hug, that corridor that you saw. Hug the wall as much mm -hmm. as I can. Try and sneak. Um, sure. Yeah, and I'll you know, it's, it's misty. Okay, I'll it's, it's misty and it's dark, so make it with advantage and make a stealth check or dexterity if you don't have stealth. Cool, I've got Same stealth for me. plus mm -hmm. four. Ooh, that's have advantage. 13. So you can advantage. roll twice, take the highest. 11. Or 18. Okay. 11, uh, so I have either 13. Oh, wait, I'm bodied, so. That'd be 14. Oh, that'd be 14. Just plus one. Uh, oh. 1920. Yeah. Oh, wait, 20. The, the, the two of you two. hugging the wall, you do hear the clatter of bones as those skeletal archers seem to be like looking for something, but kind of sticking to the shadows pressed up against the wall. You sneak along until you make your way back into that hallway that Gutter had been in before with these three sort of, it sort of extends between the two towers and it has these three archways. Uh, very beautifully decorated with these like effigies and things like that. Uh, there's like a faint carpet still. Um, and it I'll leaves... try to quietly wave the others on to come. Wait, no, we need to open at the same time. Oh, but I say I that start... through elaborate hand gestures. <laughs> <laughs> same time. 
turn wheel. I mean, I'm yeah. not even looking outside. Yes, yeah, Sir like, Jolly yeah. wasn't even looking anyway. <laughs> so. I mean, I'm not looking because I'm just miserable. I just, oh, wretched soul! <laughs> and all that shit. Yeah, and, no. and Sir Jolly's like, the, right. the, 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 We want to stealth down the corridor towards mm -hmm. this room. Yeah, I mean, you don't even need to stealth. Like, at this point, you don't think, like, anything knows you're in here, so. I just... Yeah. Very aware there's a big silver boy <laughs> with a bow, yeah. and um, he silver. has stabbed well, me we'll, once we'll before. We'll keep your, your current stealth checks are still active until you like run or like okay. do something normal. All right, I'm creeping. Okay, I'm right behind them, both right. my swords. Who's are... going first? Daughter. I mean, <laughs> like that, don't worry. All right. So as you move, the second you step under that first archway, oh, gutter, hey. you feel something in the floor give. What do you do? Like something like you've stood on a pressure plate. You're underneath this like stone archway with oh, these throw, energies. Throw myself forwards. Throw yourself forwards. You throw yourself forward. Make an acrobatics check for me. Uh, boom. <laughs> that is not Dex. super good. Um, a nine. You throw yourself forward, but you you basically sprawl on the floor uh, in front I, of you. Yes. Can I use my memory Ooh. of the roaring explosion oh, yes. to? Yeah. Give yourself, yeah. You Make could, a re-roll so like, on a it, save roll. Yeah, it, absolutely. Like you feel like this pressure. Well, it, it, I'll say it on any check, but yeah, you feel this. Like I remember this. Like I was diving away yeah, from like something. Yeah, like like have yeah. a panic moment. What, what kind of explosion is this? Like uh, I, I think actually tied into like what I know of the story. Like this is like you sense the explosion of flame, like the roar of dragon's yeah. breath, and you kind of feel this need to like leap forward. I feel like I was bombing like a bakery. <laughs> <laughs> And it went wrong. Perfect. And it that just kind of exploded blew out. blew me up. Nice. Um, Sounds about right. Yeah. So you have advantage. You get to make a, a second yeah, roll again, basically. Uh, ooh, 21. 20, okay, much better. So that extra boost of effort, you know, this memory, you leap forward, but you stop yourself before you s fall under the next archway, right? Because you threw yourself forward. Yeah. There's two more of these archways. And you're now between these two as... Behind you, a guillotine blade <laughs> hidden in the archway, <laughs> and then <laughs> and locks back into place. Okay. I'll just carefully step over that pressure plate. Okay, making uh, athletics would be like uh, acrobatics or dex dexterity check. Make sure you don't slip. Um, okay, that is a 14. 14 so enough. 12, yeah. 12. Yeah, you managed to just like step over It's only like you know it's there, like you step yeah. over it kind of thing, yeah. Um. You said now like... between these, like, there's three, so it's like first one, you're between the first and the second one, and then there's the third one. And so then there's there like are these stone tables and shit in here, right? No, no, it's just basically a corridor with these stone archways, and carved into the archways are effigies of knights holding banners. And on the banners, there is a heron holding a torch with different sword numbers, like numbers of swords. What number? A oh, sword is this banner we're next to. In front, the one in front of you mm -hmm. is the center arch, and that has four swords on it. How many bricks are on the ground? Uh, six. I'm going to go step across the fourth brick. Okay. Uh, you step down. I need you to make a dexterity save. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> uh, uh oh. I'm going to get my d10s out. Don't see that number. Uh, that's a four plus. Uh, that's an eight. Can I use some healthy times to. Healthy times? Some reactions to get boost this number, is that a thing you can do? Yes, you can, yeah. I will boost that to uh, a... I'll use three points. To get it to a total of? Uh, Twelve, no, eleven. Eleven? You try to like leap out of the way, but this thing catches you on the side. You're going to take five damage as this guillotine blade just narrowly... Oh, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> Why didn't dead? you drink your Estus before? Good point. Oh, yeah, shit. Oh. <laughs> Estus. Oh, yeah. Estus. <laughs> It's Dark Souls! Oh, yeah. I forget that. Bye you bye, 650 souls. <laughs> oh, <laughs> so you God! Watch your Lord, like, it's like, I've got it. Steps on this brick and, and just chops. Chops, chops his leg off. Oh, and God. he just bleeds out and dies. Ooh. And then disappears. As, and you're left there. As it is slowly rising, can I just like step yes. over it? Yeah, while it's <laughs> rising up, you can just like jump over it. But there's still one more arch in front of you. Okay, are there still like banners and stuff on the walls? There's uh, an iron torch sconce on the wall with a broken torch, and then yeah, the archways are carved into this like banner above you being held by two knights. Can I can I like just take the torch and just like bang, you, bang, you bang, go bang to on take the... the torch, but it doesn't move. Oh, 
Okay, with my wooden club, can I bang, bang, bang along the floor? Stink. Um, I see my club gets chopped. Yeah, um, yep. club's destroyed. Just uh, then, just step oh, over. Step over. Yeah. Um, yeah. Easy. No That's problem. Smart boy. Smart boy. There you go. Yeah, God. it's the voices. Yeah. They told me. They told me there might be another blade. <laughs> <laughs> so watch out. Watch out. Can I start sneaking my way back there? You can make a stealth check. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I need to roll my dead. Oh okay. yeah. Yeah. Uh, can't forget that. I got three. Ooh. Oh, that's a new one. Three is a new one. Darkness falls. What is left of you? Almost nothing! Oh god. Reduce one attribute by two. So it's your choice. Holy oh, shit. Intelligence. <laughs> <laughs> Very little of your mind remains. Um, and then it's a stealth check to try and get back to where you were. Meanwhile, Gutter, you get to the end of this corridor and there's a wooden door that leads into that the bottom half. Okay, yeah, Ooh, you yeah. Sneak, sneak your way over. Uh, yeah. And we'll come and find out what you guys are up to. A uh, wooden door. Uh, that leads into the bottom of the second guard tower. Uh, what a gate tower. Um, yeah, fuck, just kick it open. Uh, yeah, it does open. Uh, it is not locked. Um, inside, you find uh, the. Uh, there is another one of those giant spoked wheels uh, that connects to it. There is also a ladder that leads up to the roof, and there is like a wooden trapdoor above you. Uh, there's no other ex entrances or exits. Um, the floor is somewhat sticky in this room. Ooh. Cool. I'm pretty sticky as well. Um, <laughs> Roll around in it. <laughs> yeah, I can like just have a a cursory mm -hmm. glance. Yeah, make a perception check. Um, uh, ooh, that's a two. Um, <laughs> that's a two. Uh, it's dark. You can't really see much. Um, and sticky. And yeah, I'm not really paying a ton of attention. Sure. Got my eyes on that wheel. Mm. Cool. Kind of grabbing it. Yeah, so you give, start, it a, give it a feel. You start jostling it, and the, you two notice your oh, one starts yeah. jostling as well at the same time. Yeah, I'm kind of like, he's crying. Mm. I'm mid pat 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 while he's crying on my shoulder, and I'm like, oh, oh the, uh, the the wheel. At the, some point, I wheel. slumped over, and I'm like leaning over the edge of the wheel that would yeah. push it correctly. <laughs> yeah. yeah, so like, yeah, as you're slumped on it, as as uh, Gut starts playing with it, you do both manage to twist it, and we see the portcullis gate begin to write. <laughs> I do, uh, the voices in my head are also trying to guide me into <laughs> making sure that um, we're opening this as you're stealthing about here. Yeah. As you're oh, yeah. sneaking <laughs> along uh, stealthily. That's fine. We time for it to be when you are just in front that's, of the That's the perfect, and that 100% what happens, but also, Tom, Clark, do you want to run the combat where six slimes jump out at you after you finish <laughs> Oh god, oh. slimes are such a tedious <laughs> enemy to fight. <laughs> or do you just want to die? <laughs> Or you could try and run, like, uh, so you see these, like, things run. drop from the floor. Yeah, you're just going to run back the way you came? Run. They are Do slow a run. as hell. Okay. Well. Yeah, they are insanely slow, All right. right? So you just run through the corridor, right? Do a run. Okay, um, can you make deck safe? Yeah, 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 over those guillotines. <laughs> oh. Can I... How, like, does it look like they're even going to ever be able to catch me? No. Um... Can I broken sword the first one? Yeah. <laughs> Lose that. <laughs> Snap the blade in half. Shield the next one. Aww. You aren't using any of these things, to be fair. And I've just got my sword now. Oh god. I mean, the um, sword's definitely tougher, but it will damage well. it. But... No. You mean you could also just try and like, like, just try and like jump over where the plates are, right? You could just be like, I'm just gonna jump and hope you don't fuck it up. Ah, oh, but he he's seen what happened when people try and like yeah, cross. Yeah, his lord and died. It looked really bad, yeah. but yeah, I guess the last one. Um, just hail Mary, do a jump and roll. Yeah, just give me a deck saving throw. Uh, ooh, that's in that one. <laughs> um. <laughs> oh, oh my god. <laughs> 16 damage. As you're like, here we go. Whoa, fuck. You put your hands down on the plates and it chops her up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, go. Go into like a runner stance. Press <laughs> <laughs> <Stressed> down. <laughs> oh, fucking hell. As you guys are like in the room being depressed, you're crossing over as the portcullis rises, and you look behind you, and you can see now that this this castle is built onto a small island in the middle of a huge lake, and there is a long bridge 
that extends, and you think you can faintly see what looks like a bridge house on the other side, but this whole area is just surrounded by a really thick grey mist, like on the very outskirts on the, of the lake, basically. Okay. Um, and then, yeah, you, you guys hear, like, a noise upstairs. <laughs> yeah, sounds well. We go outside, like, you hear, oh, you hear we cross, oh. we should fetch Yotta from that tower over there. No, no, I don't think we need to. We'll find him upstairs. Um, I'm going to head down the bridge. Are you, yeah, you going to tell the others that you're, that's what you're doing? You're going to wait for them, or are you going on your own? I'm going on my own. <laughs> okay, okay. Sure! <laughs> <laughs> uh, hey, I'm that 20 stealth here as well. Yeah, but. It's looking pretty. Uh, you know. Yeah, you are. You begin making your way I guess down. I'll come and join these guys. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I'll meet up with those. I mean, you can, and you guys can. You all heard they, the portcullis. Can they see right? a window outside to the bridge? Yes. Oh, yeah, you heard Perfect. the portcullis yeah. and you can mm. see the bridge now, right? So you well, see well, we'll, you see Lord Waitford making his way. We'll meet in the corner. So courtyard, you guys can like, follow after him, but he's up ahead of you. As you're making your way down this long bridge, leading to what you think is at least escape from this castle, wherever you happen to be. Um, and as you're making your way down, you begin to see the waters of the lake becoming disturbed, <laughs> thrashing, oh, uh, kind of flowing, breaking apart. And then suddenly something leaps from the water and comes slamming down onto the bridge with a thunderous roar. A bite, a kind of like quadruped creature of fat and scales with a giant horned head clutching a huge hammer in its hand. Let me in. Roll initiative. one v one this is Silent Demon. Uh, that's a three. That's a, that's a seven. Fourteen. Uh, well this guy, oh he always acts first. Aww. What? Yeah. Oh. The initiative, initiative DC always acts first. Ooh, so it doesn't really matter what you roll for initiative. Um, so on his turn, uh, he is going to make two attacks, one with his ground pound, one with his hammer drive. So he brings his giant hammer down on Lord Wakeford. That's a natural one. Oh, so okay. So you roll to the side as this hammer comes slamming down, chunks of stone reaching up. And then as he leaps up into the air with these tiny little vestigial wings, holding him aloft for a moment, and then he comes slamming down. Uh, all creatures in a 15 foot cone. Can you make a con saving throw, please? A con save, oh God. Bum, bum, bum. <laughs> 12 and I'm 12 going to is do... enough. Oh. Yeah, yeah, this is this is like baby baby boss. This is mm -hmm. mini boss. Mm -hmm. uh, this, is this isn't this yeah. is this isn't no, this isn't this isn't a mini boss. This isn't the Does he boss. have a tail? Uh he does. He has like a little little tail, stubby tail. Um but yeah, you uh, on a failure, uh <laughs> on a successful save the creature takes half damage uh, and that's it. Oh, so he still take All right. 7 half 3. <gasps> Three points of damage. Okay. Uh, you all get to go first. Wakeford is the only one there. The rest of you see this happen in front of you. Uh, you're stood on the very edge of the bridge, looking down as he's standing off against this humongous creature. I'm going to run behind it and try to chop off its tail. Okay, sure. Kind of roll underneath its legs, make an attack. Uh, that's a 16 to hit. That will hit. Uh, six damage. Six points of damage. You cut into it, you manage to like bite into some of the flesh and tail, but there is, there's something eldritch and unnatural about its toughness, like trying to chop into some rubbery, uh, thick material. I'll do an offhand attack. Uh, that is a 19. 19 will hit. One. <laughs> Lovely. Uh, seven points of damage. What about the rest of you? Uh, you guys can get there in a movement. Oh, we or can. you can just wait there. Yeah. Um, tell me, Gutter, what oh. do the voices in your head tell you right now? I don't know if you want to know exactly what they're saying, but is there any way we can drop all this portcullis on that big fuck? That's actually quite a smart idea. Um, just be careful. There's a lot of blades and slimes over by that gate. <laughs> uh. We shall use this lever then. <laughs> Yeah, we're going to need both, aren't we? You could drop one, it would drop the entire thing, right? Make a, just make an intelligence check for me. Both of you two, it's your, and, and Gutter as well. <laughs> I like how it just instantly <laughs> just helped Gutter. Five. Oh, idiot. Ooh, Well, no, because you came up with the idea, that's why. Forty-nine. Nine? Five. Five? Um, Gutter being the one, you think that like, the even, though, even though yeah, the voice <laughs> is in your mind, 
Um, even though they were both needed to open it, you think if you could break the wheel of one side, that would probably disbalance the system and drop the portcullis. And then we but you would never need to go smash, through it again. But then you would be trapped inside the castle. Mm. But there might be another way out. Maybe you could climb over the walls, or there might be another. There might be a secret passageway. True. So anyway, uh, yeah. What do you guys want to do? Before I get to me trying to kill Rabs again. <laughs> who, wants, who wants to smash the wheel? I will go and smash um, the wheel. And just like with the sword over like over my shoulders, I'll just start walking down the bridge, <laughs> like, standing directly on the grooves of... Where the portcullis slams down. Nice. Um, cool. Try and sit on me, you fat fuck! <laughs> <laughs> um, nice. And nice. shout that. Uh, <laughs> uh, hear a growl. Okay. Yeah, I'll move up next to Gutter and... Dong my bell a load and say, <laughs> End my miserable existence, you fat fuck! <laughs> <laughs> Definitely seems to pay uh, some attention. Uh, and then, so Jolly, you're going to go back into the gate room and then do you want to like take a swipe? Because you can do it in a yeah, movement. Yeah, when, when the thing, Whoa, the, when, the, right. yeah. when the fat fuck is yeah, yeah, yeah. on the, <laughs> the colours, thing. Okay. I'll do it. Alright, in that case, fat fucks go. I mean, are we uh, able to say like, if it gets to us, we like, move back so to, yeah, you can yeah. ready actions just like in the other nice. game that we play yeah. um cool i'm planning on just respawning up there <laughs> I've got nothing to lose. i literally have nothing to lose i have uh, 650 xp so. yeah. <laughs> 10 to hit lord wait nope. for it. the big hammer comes slapping down again rolling behind him wow. trying to get into his blind spot Man. he will turn oh, yeah. and try and ground pound you once again that's a con saving throw please that's a 13 13 is a success. It's going to be half damage. Four. Two. Two, Two points of damage. Yeah, He's yeah. doing it. He's doing it, everyone. He's, He's so Dark Souls. <laughs> He's, He's rolling. He's, oh, He's dodging. He's learning the move. This is the one. <laughs> we can do it. Um, well, yeah, in that case, we go to you, players' turn. You guys can decide who goes first. I think Lord Waitford probably makes the most sense, right? Mm hmm. Okay. Uh, so you can do like normal normal game. You can disengage and stuff like that as well, Lord Waitford, if you, if you wish to, or you can just keep attacking. I will keep attacking. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Oh, do I keep attacking? Okay. Can I pull out my wooden shield? Uh huh. Um, and have one sword. Yep. Okay. Yeah. I don't know how that. How does that? Yeah, it's free action. It's part okay. of like making an attack. How does that change the stuff? damage though? No, it doesn't change the damage. It means you oh. just can't make an offhand attack. Ah, got yeah. you, got you. Okay. Uh, so that's a fourteen to hit. Fourteen will hit. Okay. Yeah, this guy's pretty easy to hit. Uh, eight, twelve, a uh, ten. Ten damage. Ten points of damage. Yeah. Nice. Uh, and then I will spend one position to move up to ten feet without making an opportunity attack after making a successful Ooh, attack. Okay. And nice. then you still have your normal yeah, movement after exactly. that as well. Wow. Okay. Yeah. So you kind of like leap back. You do like a cool back step. Yeah. And then what? Are you just going to run? Gonna roll your backwards, and I'm going to run away <laughs> my friends. You do that really weird like mm -hmm. Falchion power attack thing where yeah. you just do like a spin and you move yeah. backwards. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Nice. Right. Uh, the rest of you. So you guys want to ready actions like when this thing gets to you, you're going to jump back or? we move backwards so it's under i mean what are you doing I, i'm planning to be there for when he butt slams me oh right okay um i'm gonna move backwards okay <laughs> so you're gonna ready an action to basically run backwards as soon yeah. as it gets to you yeah, yeah, okay yeah. and then we know that sir jolly is waiting to like smash this thing cool all right well, in that case yeah <laughs> this thing it, on its turn it will move up uh you back off run away uh, um, sure. It will try and make a slamming hammer against uh, Gutter, who's now sort of stood in its way, and then he's going to try and butt slam you. That is a 10. Whoa, my armor 10! <laughs> he missed! I dodged that. You did, yeah, yeah. Dodge, just, uh, I just step to one side as the hammer comes down. Uh -huh. <laughs> just one step, like the orc in uh, the two yeah, towers. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, and then he will ground pound, so that's a 15 foot cone. So, oh. constitution oh, saving throw. everyone. <laughs> well, you, you said that you were ready in action, right? For when he runs up, you're going to run away. Oh, uh, yeah, but then I only move 10 feet away, oh, knowing that's... that it's a 15 uh, feet cone. 18. 18? 7. That's a fail for you. <laughs> 10. Ten. That's a fail for you. So yeah. guts are actually some. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> that's eight damage to oh, the two of you bad. and four oh, damage to guts. Oh my god! Are you down? I'm dead. <laughs> <laughs> oh. oh, that almost killed me. I've got two left. Okay. Uh, roll a d20 for me, Rams. Oh god. Six. Ooh. Six. 
immune. Death has cleansed you of some of the frailties of human life. You are immune to poison and the poison defect. Hell oh, yeah. The oh. first beneficial Yay. one. Hell um, yeah. You you feel like, your... You're immune because he like shit on you. Yeah. <laughs> like, he vomits his that, evil that's demon. The spray one. Yeah, the spray. Oh, yeah. <laughs> slamming down and just the <laughs> shit cone. Meanwhile, Guthrie's just so covered in it. And it doesn't, doesn't even you don't even you. notice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, so at this point, like he is now underneath this thing and it's your guys' go. Uh, I will. Um, Quick, break the knife! I do that. Do your thing! Okay. Do, I will do my thing. All right, just, yeah, we'll just assume that you cut it, you smash the spokes. Uh, as the smokes will, uh, the spokes will break, the wheel just turns rapidly. <laughs> you hear like a kind of. <laughs> and then crashing down, the portcullis comes slamming down, piercing through this thing's head. Can you make a dex saving throw for me, please? Yeah, I can. Gutter. Uh, ooh, that ain't good. <laughs> that is an eight. You spend, uh, stuff to boost it? Yeah, can I, um, spend... Oh! Can I use one of my... Can I use my drive? Yes. Because uh, my drive was to, to achieve redemption, um, I need to redeem myself with darkness. And so I this was trying sacrifice. to do a heroic sacrifice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. To, yeah. I love um, it. You're like, come at me. Yeah, like to try yeah. and save everyone else. else. Yeah, even though Lord Wakefield died, but you don't know no, that. No, I don't know, because I'm still facing yeah. the demon. You're like, ah, I'm saving everyone. You're covered, in, covered shit. in shit, yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Uh, ooh, so that'll be 13. 13. Can I also spend this? You can, yeah, you yeah. can spend position. Sure, you know what, I'm going to spend five to take You're up to 18. 18. Hell yeah, yeah, and so you one leap left. backwards as the portcullis comes slamming down, managing to avoid the damage. The 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 sharp points of the bottom of the portcullis slam into the abyss demon, asylum demon, sorry, and spin it, killing it instantly. Ah. Everybody who's al uh, alive, which is everyone, 1,800 <gasps> souls. Wow. wow. That's a lot of souls. That's a lot of souls. So I've still got my 250 from the mimic, I think. You do. So I've got 450 for the Mimic. Oh, shit. It's 450 Two, for 250 I've got now. I've um, just walked back down the stairs like... <laughs> <laughs> uh, but with the mini-boss defeated, uh, we aren't going to have to call it there as we've reached I mean, our allotted time. Um, what is the health of that thing? Uh, of the Asylum Demon, yeah. 91 hit points and it takes oh. 17. Oh, okay. This is not bad. a boss. This is no, a mini just boss, a, yeah. a mini boss. It's a tough creature. That's it. reasonable. I, I, would okay you like that. to know some of the stats on a boss? Name a, name a Dark Souls boss. Well, that's um, so nice. Dancer of the Boreal Valley. Oh, sure. Uh, the Gaping Dragon. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah Gaping the Dragon. Gaping Dragon, yeah. Gaping Dragon is challenge rating 21. Jesus. The Asylum Demon is challenge rating 5. Ooh. It has 350 position. Uh, <laughs> It's melee attacks, it makes uh, three attacks with plus 15 to hit. It deals plus 15. Plus 15 to hit, it deals 40, 40 <laughs> 10 plus 8 piercing oh damage. Uh, if you take a crit from its bite, you take 14 d8 acid damage. <laughs> what? what? Yeah. Oh my god. Yeah. I mean, there must be like leveled up gear and yes. all of this stuff yeah, to get to a yeah. point where you're like, yeah. oh god. Well, also, like, you guys could level up to like level three now. Like, if you got to a bonfire, yeah, you could be like, we're level three. Yeah, um, yeah. Yeah. Oh, I never tried, just, can I put the sword back in? Can we have our bonfire <laughs> to level up? <laughs> if you had, it would have worked. <laughs> can we just go up and just level up? <laughs> no, you broke your, your sword. Oh, fuck, you're right. <laughs> you, put it, you put it on the pressure oh. plate. <laughs> right, I did break, I did break my no, broken you, sword. No, if you want to give up your flamberge, you could put that in there and then have nothing. Nothing. Um, but yeah. Uh, but yeah, that was yeah. that was it. That's all we've got time for today. Thank that you very much for that. That was that was really good. I think that's the well. most fun you can have dying. Yeah, in yeah. It was great. It was I really mean, good. I also love the idea of just building this really intricate but kind of small dungeon and it's just full of enemies. Here's my yeah. this is you won't be able to see this on camera, but this was my wow. crappy map that I drew of like the castle and I was like, right, this is the upper level and then I'm gonna have like a dungeon here and, and I had like a bunch of stuff like in there. But, and we uh, just died over and over. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. hey, that's, it that's was the game, as it is written. Uh, this is the way. <laughs> I mean, it's like when people say, like, oh, Dark Souls is like a 20 hour game, and you're like, I can't get out of the first area. Yeah. <laughs> that's me. That's yeah, pretty yeah, much yeah. my playthrough. Um, but yeah, Damn. so go and check it out. I do think this is, I think it's a very cool game. Like, it's the first game I've seen where they've kept quite a lot of the spiritual energy of yeah. what they're trying to base it on. Yeah. Um, using a system that you are probably all familiar with, especially if you watch stuff like High Rollers. 
go and check out Dark Souls role playing game by Steamforge Games. Thank you very much for sending this to us. Yeah. Uh, you can pre order it now, get the collector's edition. Tom bought the collector's edition, didn't you? Yeah. You like, got that shit. Uh, go and check that out. Thanks for joining us. That's going to be it from us. Take care. Ciao, bye -bye. ciao. Thank bye. you very much. Bye. You died. Nice. <laughs>